Solo Ambush goes to a haunted shack that's been abandoned in the jungle. The place is haunted by two evil shamans. Conjoined twins connected at the hip. Solo Ambush is ready to live up to his reputation and confront them both on live stream. He finds odd evidence in the pages of an old book that could be paranormal incantations of some kind. Tell me what he says here and anything you can about what's written in the book. So this is the last one. Okay, this is the last one. Aku akan bawa balik. Aku akan bawa balik buku ini. I'm especially interested in what this page says. It has a picture of the world on it and a list. He stares at this page for the longest of all. For some reason, he lights five candles in the attic and says something to the shaman. Okay, sila keluar. Aku cabar segala jin, kadam, pesuruh, dukun. Maybe it has to do with what he just read. Whatever he recites, it works. Notice how the shadows start moving when the noise begins and how they stop moving when the noise ends. Final analysis, these scary moments caught on live stream video are paranormal and creepy beyond belief. It's like the ghost is walking right up and standing over him. It looks like Solo Ambush is the one getting ambushed this time. Okay, think of this scary video as a what would you do type situation. A woman named Letitia Patterson is walking back to her car when a strange man who is acting beyond creepy in my opinion begins to follow her. She lets him know that he's caught on camera and the video gets more outrageous from there. Hold on, I'm about to record you because if something happened to me, they gonna have you on camera. That's right. Somebody come get their uh, family funny. member. That's right. Following me. I think capturing his weird behavior on tape is the right move, but showing him where she parked is not the safest decision. She could have walked away to get help, but I guess she felt like she was going to take control of the scary moment, and so she overcomes her fears and confronts the stranger, getting more bizarre video on camera for us to analyze. Yep. <laughs> bye. You're not getting in my car. The strange man attempts to get her to laugh it off, playing off his aggression as harmless flirting, but he is not respecting her boundaries, which to me is beyond creepy, and a major warning sign that she should get away fast. He follows around her car for a bit, and then he's standing by her door when the creepy encounter takes another bizarre turn. I don't even know you. Hey, delete that camera. I'll grab that phone from you. Look, well, can you get away from my car? Yeah, but delete that recording. I'll delete it as soon as I see you start walking that way. But the mysterious man walks towards her instead, closer than ever as you can see at 1 minute and 27 seconds, and she realizes by now that he isn't going away, and that this scary moment could escalate if she doesn't get help. Hey, y'all called 911. This Yo, guy just followed me around the store. I think asking a stranger to call 911 was the right decision because he could have taken the phone out of her hands if she stopped recording him. The camera is a good deterrent, and also she needs to continue to record evidence. Police investigators haven't found him yet as far as I know, but check this part out. I think he says his name here at 7 seconds. She's talking at the same time, but tell me if you can understand what he says. They gonna have you on camera. Somebody come get their uh, family funny. member. At least one other woman claims to have had a similar creepy experience with a scary stranger. So the evidence seems to suggest that he could be terrifying people just for fun. Freaky, right? <laughs> Yeah.
A hospital patient receives two visitors. When the lights go out and a third joins in unannounced, they scramble out of the hospital and aren't in on the joke, and many others aren't either. The full version of this video shows this ghost is created with little more than a long cloth and a mask with a wig. This might help explain other similar ghost sighting videos. The scary video started in Indonesia and has gone viral since then, but not everyone's in on the joke, so if you see an edited version somewhere else, know that it was a joke done by a channel called Happy Ramatika. And remember, you heard the true story on Top 15s. Supposedly, a little girl saw two ghosts. Looks like a creepy little house. They say it's really haunted. A team of ghost hunters investigate recent paranormal activity at the Craig House where a ghost sighting has left a little girl really creeped out. Her mother suspects the house is haunted. So, what do you think it is? Do you think it's... <laughs> Probably ghost. The Craig family was not surprised when their daughter had a ghost sighting because they've all experienced paranormal activity too. Weird things like the dial on their radio moving on its own, unexplainable noises in the basement and scary voices whispering hello. But this time the paranormal activity has gone too far by scaring their innocent daughter and so the ghost hunters are called to investigate. They set up paranormal equipment in the haunted basement to see what kind of supernatural evidence they can capture on video. When nothing is caught on tape, the ghost hunters begin to doubt anything paranormal is down here, and so they challenge the ghost to reveal itself on camera. Make something move off these shelves. You little... No objects fall off the shelf, but apparently three minutes later a mysterious EVP is caught on camera when the ghost hunters are exploring the entrance to a room under the stairs. <laughs> Keep in mind that paranormal equipment has been dormant for 25 minutes until they come across this hidden room, which appears to be empty, and when they open it, all of their equipment mysteriously turns off and needs to be restarted so I think they've let out something paranormal. As ghost hunters, it is their job to replicate the results so as to provide the best paranormal evidence possible, which in this case means standing outside of the small space and taunting the ghost some more. Bring it to me. I'm going inside this little room. Demonic heaven or Bring it to me. Let's see it. They said. They said. Story. A strong and steady EVP does not stop until they take the batteries out, which I think were probably being drained fast. Judging from the weird sounds it makes, the ghost hunting equipment is being pushed past its limits and struggles to keep up with the paranormal energy surrounding it. Later, their EVP session takes them inside the closet of the girl's basement playroom where she had a ghost sighting. He calls the ghost a coward for not properly showing itself and... Coward is what you are. If you look behind him, an object seemingly moves on its own, or maybe he hooks it with his finger, it's kind of hard to say. Did you not see it move by itself? Yeah, but it's gotta be better than that, I gotta see it move well, by itself. You still don't believe? Not really. Either way, this is probably one of the few videos I've ever seen where the ghost hunters argue about whether this scary moment is paranormal or fake, so let's help them figure it out. I think it was probably real because earlier, he did at some point ask the ghost to move an object to prove it was real. It's 3am when a YouTuber named Spencer Smith goes exploring an abandoned mental asylum that looks haunted as can be. Most of the entrances have been sealed off and it seems like their paranormal investigation is over before it even has a chance to go wrong. But that's when they hear scary noises in the darkness. That was not a dog. That is not a dog, listen. That's not a dog. Well, we're savages, let's go. Mate. Oh no, bro, oh my god. 
I don't have the slightest clue what that animal could be, but I don't think it was a dog, so maybe it is supernatural. Anyway, they eventually find a doorway that's in complete shambles. Before they get a chance to step through, the camera goes out of focus for a few scary moments before they hear what I agree sounds like a footstep going up the nearby stairs. Stairs which clearly nobody is standing on. Was that a footstep then? Was that an actual footstep? <laughs> They step through the doorway and are too busy investigating from room to room to realize they've already caught a ghost face in the window. At 12 minutes and 37 seconds, it's a scary face looking down into the right. More of a demon sighting caught on tape than a ghost face in the window. They only see one apparition during this moment, but I actually see two. The other is a man peering in through the bottom left corner of the window. You can see his facial features most clearly during this moment, in which you can make out a sharp nose, thin lips, and no visible eyes. They record the rest of the asylum without much incident, and soon find themselves standing at a different entrance than the one they came through. They look down and notice they've almost fallen into a hole that leads into a drainage system, and as they laugh, something scary happens in return. <laughs> it's hard to hear at first, but it seems they've actually caught another unexplained footstep on camera shortly before they ran away, this time coming from within the drain. A YouTuber in Thailand named Hassan Natapong is exploring a ghost town full of abandoned buildings to investigate. There are far too many abandoned places to go exploring on foot, so after a while, he uses a drone with a high-resolution camera to take a closer look and see what mysterious sights he can capture on video. Hassan is just a normal YouTuber and not a ghost hunter by any means, so you can imagine his surprise when he finds a mysterious figure in all white wandering down the road like a zombie or something. Hi! Hi! He tracks the strange figure with his drone and watches as it does a bizarre walk, arms outstretched, up an unkept yard and into an abandoned house, seemingly at random. The way the figure shambles from left to right does not look like a ghost sighting, but it could be someone who is about to drop from exhaustion and needs help. So Hassan knows he needs to find this person fast before it's too late. He can see his drone flying overhead and so he follows it to the abandoned house where he saw the mysterious figure go into. The inside is trashed and large sections of wall are completely gone. It doesn't look safe for anyone to live in here, and I wonder if this is where someone would crawl to live out their last moments in relative peace. He looks everywhere, even on the second floor, and finds no evidence that anyone is here. As he goes back down the missing staircase, you can see nobody is there. But when he gets to the bottom of the steps, he sees a little ghost girl kneeling under the stairs with long black hair over her eyes. I say this could be a ghost sighting because there's no way to have missed her going up these steps. I'm guessing that he must have not noticed her presence until he was editing the video much later. Then again, considering this looks like a very generic representation of a ghost, kind of like the movie The Ring. It's also a pretty big coincidence that he just so happens to be filming over his shoulder when she appears, so I think it could be fake after all. A YouTuber from Romania named Shari is exploring an abandoned house that's haunted by a ghost dating all the way back to 1934. They are looking for a way to get inside when an angry poltergeist lets them know that it doesn't want them anywhere near its haunting grounds. Come on. They find one of the doors is unlocked, but as soon as they enter, the paranormal activity turns all the way up. I don't know what they were saying, but I do hear windows breaking all around them, and they quickly climb out of one to get away. They make the mistake of taking one look back at the not-so-abandoned house. 
The poltergeist activity continues, so they run away. All of them were already out of the house when this happens, so it's not someone in their group. It takes eight months for Shari to even think about how scary the experience was, but soon he tells some friends and they say they have to go exploring the abandoned house again to see how far they can investigate. He agrees to go ghost hunting with them and shows them the haunted location. As he examines a window, I think I see a phantom figure walk across. A creepy feeling immediately passes over them and sends them out of the house. Their camera refuses to go back into focus, as if an invisible phantom figure has followed them into the woods and is standing in front of them. They catch a fleeting glimpse of the apparition through another window. I would say that this is someone in robes, but when their camera refuses to focus again, it makes me think that it might be paranormal. This time they don't run away and see what else they can get on tape. Since they can't stay for long without risking harm being done, they decide to place more cameras throughout the house and caught this paranormal evidence of a ghost sighting on tape, though it could be video editing. It disappears and in its place is a paranormal mist and then the window opens by itself. This time, they find a boarded up section of the house, a hidden entrance of sorts. <laughs> but a scary noise from the other side of the wall sends the would-be ghost hunters running. Curiosity eats away at them for two weeks later until they vow to go exploring the haunted building again on one last paranormal explanation. They experience more of the same unexplained out of focus camera only in this part of the house, which makes no sense considering this is a different camera. But at this point, such strangeness is to be expected. What they weren't expecting to see was the phantom to show its skeletal ghost face in the window. Either that is a good mask or I am definitely not sleeping tonight. And tell me what you think about this final piece of paranormal evidence. Is this a ghost sighting caught on tape or just video editing? The video quality does not appear to drop in resolution, so I am not sure if this is real or fake. This is it, the scariest forest to explore in terms of ghost hunting. The location of this scary forest is far more well known than its actual name. That's because you have to go to the Romanian countryside of Transylvania to get here, the same place where the legend of Dracula began. Okay, so this place is called the Hoya Bachu Forest, and there's a good reason why not too many outsiders know about it. Locals believe that even mentioning its name is enough to curse you with a lifetime of misfortune, which is making me wish someone else narrated this video. Ask around for long enough and you might find somebody willing to tell you about a shepherd who, hundreds of years ago, went into this forest with 200 sheep to let them eat grass and never returned. Peasant villagers soon lost their lives to his vengeful spirit, and the area's haunted reputation quickly spread. As more lives were lost, the number of ghost sites continue to grow. I'm not going to get into all of the individual haunted forest stories because there are simply too many to recall, but here are three scary videos taken in the woods that are worth mentioning because they help back them up. The first video was taken by a YouTuber named Breegis on July of 2014, and it shows in the center of the woods a circular clearing where absolutely no trees will grow. In fact, trees have not grown here for hundreds of years in a perfectly symmetrical circle and nobody knows why. Maybe this is where the shepherd and his flock all perished. Whatever happened here, there's something unholy about this area that always makes visitors nervous. And to further prove my point, in the center of the circle, 
circle are two evenly spaced patches of dug up earth that look like they could be unmarked graves. What do you think is buried here? Videos of these woods are scary enough during the day, but exploring the cursed woods at night is even scarier. On July 29, 2017, a YouTuber named Tanner Roth thinks he's brave enough to withstand a 3 a.m. haunted forest challenge in Transylvania. The trees start to look twisted and creepy, so they know they are close to the forest's haunted heart. See, it's how, how, how knotted it is. These knots don't happen anywhere else outside this forest. I guess it's another way that they were saying that the, the, the forest is... is... Dude, it just got super cold over here. The camera goes out of focus as if a spirit is face to face with Tanner, and a passing chill makes his nose run. In his words, It, it, it kind of feels like we shouldn't be here. I couldn't have said it better myself, especially based on what he sees shortly thereafter. Tanner Roth senses something near and so he calls out for Anthony, his camping buddy. He feels especially watched here, and look at what happens at 4 minutes and 28 seconds. No sooner does he say somebody is messing with me, when an odd red light shows up. Tanner finds Anthony passed out at the campsite, cozy as can be. Anthony didn't pass the 3am haunted forest challenge, so it wasn't him. Strange glowing lights are said to be a common occurrence in this forest, and one of the reasons why locals don't dare to go near. On April 14th, 2018, a paranormal investigation team from Italy called As Pit journeys to the center of the forest in search of a scare. This is what they find close to the haunted circle. Si, si, it's good, it's good. It kind of sounds like a frog to me, but maybe not based on what happens next. K2! K2! As they strain their ears, they hear it again right as the K2 meter goes off, which makes it paranormal in my opinion. Sheep can make really shrill noises, so maybe it's the shepherd's wicked spirit. The pit crew runs some more experiments, such as asking the spirit to make their flashlight blink, which it does easily, and we no longer hear any animal noises at all during this time. The forest is eerily quiet. Five minutes later, it decides to skip all of their testing and directly reveal itself. Much to their horror and to my fascination, the light they see is remarkably similar to the light that Tanner Roth saw a year prior. Except for a noticeable difference in color, they both saw a sphere of light roughly the same size in the same area, and probably therefore the same entity. The fact that two different teams from two different countries nonetheless would record the same thing is all the proof that I need to conclude that this forest is probably beyond haunted. Since the legends are apparently true, I can only imagine what the repercussions are on them for witnessing it in person, not to mention what will happen to us for seeing it on video. If you were a fan of Tales from the Crypt, this scary video is right up your alley. Published by Proving Demons in October of 2021, this video welcomes you to the land of the no longer living. When they arrive on site, the first thing that greets them is a cemetery. Oh, oh it's a cemetery. There's a cemetery here. Navigating through brambles down to a lower entrance, they arrive at a barbed wire fence. It's clear that the owners didn't want anyone getting in here. They have to walk through the barbed wire to get to the door. Having traveled five hours to explore this site... Oh, please God, let it be open. We've traveled five and a half hours. At last, they arrive at the door and are thankfully able to open it. Wandering through the old church, they encounter several crypts. More open crypts and coffins are found at the end of the hallway. While well water floods the floor, a human skull is in one open coffin and there is human hair still on it. Oh, no. Come here. No. Education. Oh, oh. So, I want to point out, just sign a light on it for me. There's still hair on its head. Still got teeth. Obviously, oh, that's rotting brain in there. As he's prodding the skull head, they think they hear something down the hallway. Oh. What? What's wrong? 
Examining the skull more closely, you can see it still has human hair and teeth. As they're talking about how it felt like someone was walking behind them, someone shushes them from what sounds like the corner of the room. What's that? The shh. Somebody just shh us. It seems this team of urban explorers has disturbed the peace. All I know is I would never be going back to that place. Stee Richards and Jason Griffiths make up the Ouija Brothers, a fearless ghost hunting duo from the English Midlands. What makes them different from most, aside from their bravery, is that they are more skeptical and often set out to debunk famous haunted locations rather than promote them. With that said, they may have met their match at Shepton Mallet Prison. Built in 1610, Shepton Mallet Prison is the oldest prison in the country and also was the longest running until its closure in 2013. Four centuries of brutal treatment have since created hostile spirits who were, for the most part, already not good people people to begin with. So much horror has happened here that a strange feeling of negative energy is said to have washed over the very walls themselves and it isn't long before the Ouija brothers, despite their usual level-headedness, find themselves looking over their shoulder and questioning every sound. Sure, any building that's centuries old is bound to make some really creepy noises, and some of what they record just sounds like the foundation setting and stuff like that. But other encounters, like what happens here only two minutes into their investigation, seems to be in response to a very specific question. Are you upstairs? I agree with them that it's coming from somewhere above, but let me know if you do too. Whatever's following them, it seems to prefer to have a height advantage at all times. But check this part out at 8 minutes and 25 seconds. Jason actually looks up a split second before he hears the noise. So did they plan this and he messed up? Or did he sense it moments prior? Is that you? Uh, he was up above, wasn't he? Confident they found a particularly haunted prison wing to explore, the Ouija brothers walk past each cell, encouraging anything inside to come forth, and they gently coax the spirit into revealing itself. Stee is too busy looking straight ahead and misses the light anomaly appear against the wall right next to him. I fully admit that it could be their camera equipment, but it never happens again a single time. And get this, the light appears at the exact same moment. Jason wanted to know if the spirit remembers what life was like at Shepton Mallet Prison. If you wish to come out, knock on the door that you want to come out of. Do you remember? Neither of them see this though, and so unaware that it's already worked, Jason continues to talk to the spirit about how the prison guards were able to go home. Well, they had to stay here, and out comes the loudest bang of all. Whoa, what was that? But that's not all they hear. They get out the electromagnetic meter to try and measure air currents for paranormal activity. Nothing happens at first, but then it beeps loudly and turns green for a long time. They can't get the meter to do it again and are trying to figure out if this was a glitch when they are interrupted by something scary mid-sentence. I'll enhance the audio to make it easier to hear. It same very volume, didn't it? It's a small, muffled voice from far away, so tiny and distant that it shouldn't have even registered on camera, not with that heavy door closed behind them. And yet it reaches their ears with alarming clarity. They agree it's a woman, but still they are unable to pinpoint its exact location. And when they go outside, the prison is as empty as ever. According to legend, this could be the voice of one of the oldest prisoners, a woman known only as the Woman in White. She is said to have taken the life of her fiancé and passed away in six 1680 from regret. Now she wanders the A and B wings moaning her sorrows, and as they are searching for her, the electromagnetic reader they left behind goes crazy once again, indicating that while they may have left the room, perhaps she has not, and the reason why they were able to hear her so clearly was because her ghostly presence had been standing not in another room, but behind them all along. It's 3am when three friends decide to walk down this haunted road. At 3 minutes and 13 seconds, they turn their headlights on and off, which I think they are supposed to do to make something scary happen. Then he begins rolling around like a possessed man. 
भाई ना ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए ए he has a lot to say when he snaps out of his apparent possession, and I would like to understand, in his words, what he just went through. If you speak the language, please tell me what is being said here, and if you think it's real or fake. <laughs> I don't see any tears, but he looks really stressed out. So overall, I'm not sure what to make of this bizarre event. What hides in the shadows can oftentimes be shadows themselves. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mega White. The Redditor explains that she and her husband were away from home over a weekend and set up the motion detector Alfred camera app in their room for the surveillance. When they returned from their trip, they were met with this unusual and terrifying video. The clip shows a fuzzy bedroom backdropped by a doorway with either a light on beyond or a natural source of light casting inside the other room. That light shift says something is apparently moving enough to set off the motion sensor. In fact, that something appears to pass right across the doorway, blocking out the light beyond for a moment. You can make out a distinct figure. It's more like a shadow or a vague or even invisible figure that still somehow manages to distort the light. There is definite movement, but from what, we can't know from sure. Redditor JJ740 asks if there was an intrusion, to which Meg answers that all the doors and windows were locked and nothing was missing. She also notes that strange things have been occurring in this house for a matter of months. Like what? Meg explains we can always see a shadow walking out of the office through the wall into my closet, and I always thought I was seeing things until we caught this on camera. She also says in another comment that her kids have heard people talking, and her two-year-old has even started laughing at something in empty rooms of the home. A Redditor writes, that's actually genuinely creepy. Of course, as with every potentially paranormal clip, you have your insect theories, but most agree that the clip looks legit and not edited or faked. What do you think? Are you freaked out? I certainly am. The last thing you would want to encounter when driving on a deserted stretch of road at night is a ghost. Shot in Delhi, Aman Kumar published this video in August of 2018. As you can see, the driver and his passenger have spotted a figure up ahead in their headlights. So they approach slowly and then stop. <laughs> The figure ahead is moving across the road at a snail's pace. The driver flashes his brights and low lights on and off several times, but this doesn't affect the figure's pace in the slightest. The figure continues to move slowly across the road, and then another figure. The driver keeps flashing his lights on and off, trying to get the figures to move. They seem to have converged in the middle of the road. It's unclear if the ghostly figures start to approach, but the passenger starts to panic. The driver continues to flash his lights on and off, and at the same time backs up a ways. Even after three whole minutes, the figures are still there. That's where the footage ends. We don't know if the path ever cleared for these two, but what we do know is you never know when you might meet the afterlife. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Adams is trying to sneak into the Chatham Hospital through the basement. This hospital is supposedly well guarded with high tech security systems and even dogs. I'm not sure what he expects to find inside, but it's probably not these bright yellow chunks of rotting insulation. Hopefully, this is normal and not asbestos, a type of building material often used in old hospitals that is known to cause very bad health effects. <coughs> After about five minutes of navigating through dark tunnels and dead ends, he pops open a ceiling panel and drops down inside the main building. The hospital's dirty white rooms are mostly empty. At one point, he does come across this mysterious message written backwards in jagged red letters, but I can't make out what it says. Let me know if you can. Less than two minutes later, he finds himself running down the hospital hallways as fast as he can. <laughs> alarm, people! Alarm! F alarm! 
exploring with Adams double times it through the basement tunnel system and scrambles above ground. He gets away for now, but hopefully no street cameras tracked his escape. A YouTuber named Aeromax Music has to walk down the seedy hallway late at night, six days a week to get to his apartment. It always gives him a terribly dreadful feeling, so this time he records himself to feel a little safer. The entire time a neighbor is playing some creepy dance music that has a heartbeat and bass turned up loud enough to make the wall shake. You can't hear anything else. And that's precisely why this next part is so scary. Despite the loud music, a woman's frantic laughter is heard next to him in the empty hallway. At this exact moment, a visual disturbance appears in the bottom corner for only a few frames and disappears. Could this be his thumb? When he gets onto the elevator, the music stops and a weird noise can be heard. Is this a creaky gear or a disembodied moan? Basically, do you think these occurrences are all in his head? Or is this a hallway that's truly haunted? Jake Duffner is live streaming some Fortnite and everything is going well until 3am rolls around. Strangely enough, all of the weirdness begins as soon as he mentions how late it is. It's the middle of the night for me. So. Why is this pregame lobby hella long? It was good. Exactly one minute later, the door closes. Does it close by itself here, or was someone grabbing it from the bottom? This time, he says he wishes someone would come in and test him. He obviously means in the game, but I guess the ghost doesn't understand. The timing is perfect. As soon as he says, I wish someone would come, you can hear the doorknob turn. I wish someone would come test me right now. Next, his chair starts to move. I can't see the floor, but I can pretty much see the whole chair, and I think the camera is low enough to show someone crawling across the ground. No one does, so either they are using something to pull it from the doorway, or it's a ghost. A YouTuber named Underwater Ireland explores a cemetery on a dreary day. Crows cackle loudly overhead like a warning not to go any further as she treads sacred ground. Underwater Island looks down and notices that all of the markers have a wide gap. I have never seen any cemetery with this problem before, have you? If I didn't know better, it almost looks like the buried have been trying to claw their way out. She sets up some cameras and records overnight, and this is what she finds the next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There! Did you see that flash? And this is the same shot from a different angle. Also, notice how the gate opens here. Okay, so this frowning man wearing a helmet is what the image looks like when the video is stopped. Is this special effects? Or did a spirit really come face to face with the camera moments after opening the entrance? This rocket ride is a famous local attraction at the Luna Park in St. Petersburg, Russia. Here's what the ride looks like normally, and this is what it looks like after a cable frays to the point of snapping clean through. This angle clearly shows how close the riders are to plummeting hundreds of feet below. Look at the top of the ride. That cable to the left is the only thing keeping them alive. The tip of the ride is bending from the pressure and looks ready to come off. Rescue workers are eventually able to get everyone down to safety, though I'm not sure they felt anything but safe while dangling over 200 feet in the air with no end in sight. Omar Vassell and his friend are having a very strange problem in the toy section of Target. I will let them explain everything in a moment, but let's just say one of the toys seems to be a little too active. When is that? This toy does not go off. This toy does not go off. But the center toy goes off. <laughs> My hands over here. Bow. Toy goes off. Just watch. What? What is that? Like, please tell me what that is. America, please. Maybe the batteries are depleted in all of the toys except for the one in the middle, but that still doesn't explain why it would go off when the other toys are touched. 
I feel like this video could have an obvious explanation that I'm not thinking of. So if you recognize these toys, or if you know anything about the toy manufacturing or design in general, then please let me know how this could possibly happen. This restaurant is thought to be haunted by numerous spirits, one being a former regular who goes by the name of Jack. Watch what happens on this paranormal equipment when you call Jack by his name. If you can step in front of this, we'll be able to see you if you can come over towards me. Jack, are you still here, honey? Right no. there. No, that's, oh, that's that was okay. Ryan. That's not Ryan. That was... No, it wasn't me. No, that was him. Twice, a mysterious figure appears on their body mapping equipment, and as they are arguing about if the phantom image is real or not, the bartender says some words and Jack the ghost relaxes, leans back against the counter. It's okay, Jack, you can talk to them. You want to get down over here. okay, Jack. You talk to them. Is that one? Yeah. That is one. Yeah. Nobody is in front of them, and yet a ghost sighting is caught on camera. The bartender addresses the spirits again and a second ghost sighting unfolds. Jack, please speak in that box. Tell them to go, the same. Oh, oh there's, there's another, another one. one. Even smaller. Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, yeah. the kids are all over the place. The server says that ghost kids are all over the place too, and as soon as she says those words, the smaller figure is gone. This just seems like far too much of a coincidence not to be something paranormal caught on video. This channel was uploading the exact same video for four entire years straight. Then after four whole years, it randomly uploaded this creepy video as of September 2018. As far as I can tell, there's no practical reason for anyone to be doing this. Almost all of the videos had received less than four years in just as many years. I have little doubt that the designer of these videos has some sort of malicious intent because the entire video collection just feels off, especially the latest one. It could be loaded with hidden messages about doing who knows what. Also, I noticed this string of binary code in the description box. If any developers think they can crack it, then please let me know what it says because I'm really eager to find out. This mystery will probably never be solved because all of the videos have been deleted. And if you go to the channel, it simply says this channel does not exist. My Dark Journal is a collection of abstract videos that many people are certain contain hidden messages and deeper meanings, perhaps even clues about a woman who lost her life. The latest video, simply called Wither, starts off with a snowy lamp post and ends with a strange woman walking down the stairs. In the description is a link to a video on a completely different YouTube channel. This video, called Whisper, has images of evil looking building schematics and what appears to be some type of old language. I don't expect anyone to really be able to translate the words on that last page, but I'm hoping that someone can. Anyway, in the description box of the Whisper video, is a link to yet another video on a YouTube channel called The Oracle of Lies. This third and final video is called Wayne. It shows an old desolate road and more weird imagery, including the same mysterious woman from the first video with her. I'm not sure if there are any hidden messages in any of these videos, but there certainly could be. No fourth video is linked, and the odd trifecta ends there. This could be a simple art montage or it could be the real thing, maybe even something from the depths of the dark web. If you are able to make sense of any of these videos, even just a single part, then please let me know what it all means. Nicholas White is in an elevator on his work break when it suddenly stops after the power goes out for a split second and comes back on. It's an unremarkable beginning to a long survival situation that stretches on for almost two days with everything caught on camera. He does what anyone would do and repeatedly tries all of the buttons, including the alarm, and then he tries to open the door a couple times, all to no avail. No one in the security room is listening. After an hour, he stands on the rails and looks for a ceiling hatch, but the exit is locked. After more than 10 hours, you can see a worker perform some kind of maintenance on all of the other elevators, apparently skipping right past Nicholas without noticing he's even there. By 19 hours, Nicholas seems to have resigned to his fate, 
He tries to keep from going crazy by reading the fine print to what he says later on was a sports game ticket. After 40 hours, he has degraded into a vegetative state and mostly lies on the floor or leans against the wall. One hour after that, he is finally able to talk to somebody over the intercom and they give him a special code to press that gets the elevator working again. His friends and a security guard are waiting for him on the other side. Understandably, after spending almost the full weekend in this cube. All he wanted was a cold drink and probably a new job in a different building. Behind this bed, there used to be a door. Look closely to the left of the lamp here and you'll see the outline where it was painted over. There's just one problem. Apparently something on the other side doesn't understand that this is no longer a passageway. The knocking sounds polite yet urgent, definitely human. It really does sound like someone who believes that they belong in this room and expects to be let in at any moment. It seems like her problem is not going to go away on its own anytime soon. I really wouldn't want to see what's inside of that wall, but it might be the only way to end the problem for good, or maybe make it way worse. This TikToker has documented her neighbor harassing her for months. The following clips are evidence of the terrifying stalking. Posted to TikTok by Maddie Panic, Maddie writes that she lives alone and she's reported this neighbor several times. In the first video, you can see her neighbor through her peephole, waiting outside her apartment door. The video shows a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt, getting very close to the door as though he's listening in. The man's mouth is moving, but what he's saying is inaudible. He quietly knocks on the door. After no one answers, the man backs up and waits there. Later, Maddie captures what we can assume is the same man trying her doorknob. You can see the knob shaking, but the door is locked. Maddie looks out the peephole again, and you can only see the top of the man's head, like he's down low, trying to hide from view, or maybe even trying to use tools to get in. You can vaguely hear him say he knows that she's here. Well, this video is scary enough. A second video turns our fear up a notch. The man apparently lives next door to Maddie, and he tried to smash a hole right through her wall. She captures the damage on video and reassures viewers that cops are on the way. Maddie turned this TikTok account into pure documentation of this stalker's behavior. Her latest video shows she is safe and now in a new apartment. Maddie's advice to other individuals who find themselves in a similar situation is to document everything and protect themselves. This was true. Truly one creepy neighbor. Maddie and Elijah are ghost hunting with a guide named Eric in an old asylum that has over 80 rooms of horror to investigate. Let's talk about this door. They think somebody scratched at it for hours, and I think that's what it looks like, but I seriously hope it's termites. To support their theory, these scratches at 10 minutes and 55 seconds do look like someone took their nails to the wall, as well in a fit of madness. Later, they hear this distant moan. I definitely think this sounds like a person, but let me know if you can think of some other explanation. So that's it. What the f Did you hear that? No. <laughs> So that's creepy, but what I want to talk about more than anything is what happens after Elijah makes the mistake of holding a haunted bridal doll. This crazy noise is the spirit's response to being asked what her name is. It sounds wicked and definitely like nothing I'd want to be in the same room as. Even Eric admits he has never heard such a harsh EVP come from that doll before in all his experience as a tour guide. And he also says nobody has ever touched her before, so I think it's real. And as further proof, look what happens when the doll is asked if she's upset about being touched. Are you mad that Elijah came in and touched the bride? Judging by this paranormal ripple effect of negative energy caught on camera, I'd say yes, she was. A YouTuber named Nick Soup is barefoot water skiing when suddenly he finds one of the handles wrapped firmly around his throat. Look again in slow motion and you'll see exactly how this one in a million scenario unfolds. The handle drops into the water, shoots back into the air, 
and wraps perfectly around Nick's throat like a noose. Thinking fast, he rips the handle over his head while still hanging on. Had he let go and fallen into the water, he would have been dragged by the neck at high speeds. A YouTuber named CJ Powers eagerly records the final stages of a drone project he and his group have been working on together. They are just about to fire it up when his friend Christian makes a nervous joke about the drone coming to life and attacking. It's gonna go rogue and it's gonna kill her. <laughs> Roughly two minutes later, his joke becomes prophecy. Smile in the camera. Oh. Watch again and you'll see the sharp propeller swing towards Christian's face and neck at a high rate of speed. The loud motor gives Christian just enough of a heads up to barely move out of the way. They all laugh about it later but look again and you'll see how close the drone was from slicing something vital and taking his life. A married couple stationed at Fort Irwin in California are relaxing at home when suddenly their motion-activated baby monitor turns on to reveal some scary stuff caught on camera. Um, that's a little weird. I don't know what it is. What they suspect is a small ghost hand waves at them excitedly. When they move the camera a few degrees over, it's mysteriously gone. It isn't long before the ghost hand reappears to wave at them some more. The backstory on this one is sparse. They say their house is haunted but don't go into more detail. They also say the hand moves way too fast to be a human, and I agree that's true, but only because this is probably a piece of dust on something up close. Are there paranormal happenings recurring in your home? This YouTuber can relate. Published to YouTube by Youngboy Lloyd in March of 2020, Lloyd asks viewers for help as he believes there's a ghost in his home. He shows video proof across a series of three clips. The first part shows him watching something on TV when a plant falls over on its own accord and rolls off the entertainment center. When Lloyd moves to pick it up, it falls over again and he gets scared off by something unseen. In the next clip, he takes action, burning Sage to get rid of the ghostly presence, and as he does so, the chair at the end of the table starts moving. Lloyd doesn't notice at first, so the ghost forces him to, aggressively flinging the chair onto its side. In the last video, Lloyd says he's not going to allow a ghost to take over his house. As he's talking, a cabinet door opens behind him in the next room. A pot on the counter can be seen falling to the floor. Lloyd jumps up from his seat and tells the ghost to leave. Eve, I think my wine with Did the ghost listen? I don't think so. Cindy McDonald is a paranormal communicator who has been into ghost hunting for many years. She has a YouTube channel called Soul Guidance that's full of bizarre explorations in various haunted places. But to be honest, the best paranormal evidence I've seen in a long time are from these videos taken in her very own home. After years of paranormal expeditions, I guess it was only a matter of time before something came back to haunt them. The creepiness begins on November 17th of 2017. That's when her beagle, Mozzie, begins acting strange. Every little sound bothers her and puts her on high alert. She seems especially wary of the brown chair, or rather the backpack that's on it, which they take with them on every investigation and may have a paranormal entity attached. They tell any spirits haunting this house to leave and eventually the dog calms down. Nine days later, they run a paranormal experiment on their house to see if they can capture any ghost sightings on camera. Their ghost hunting equipment soon tracks a ghost standing on their coffee table, who slowly but surely make its way to the couch. I just want to add that I don't see how their software could be mistaking a bare white wall for anything remotely human. Also, based on the timing of this next clip, I think this creepy moment is both real and paranormal. Can you say hello? Oh, there's two. Another wireframe figure appears in the doorway when she tells it to say hello. Now just to show, don't you move. This is what we're filming, this area right here, so there's nothing it can map in. It's 
snap it in two figures. They continue to see the same ghost well into the next year, and as the months go by it becomes more friendly and comfortable around them. Here it is lying on the same couch as before. Can you wave? Can you stick out one arm? Oh, I think I see you waving that hand. Wave one more time so we know it's you, please. Thank you. Good job. They seem to have achieved some kind of rare bond between our world and theirs that I've never seen before. Also attached to their family is a little ghost child who is slowly remembering what it was like to be alive. Would you like to hold my hand? Can you reach over and touch my hand, please? Thank you. Touch my hand. You got it, baby. I'm pretty afraid. You know I'm never afraid. Even when it leaves, there's still a small black impression of paranormal energy left in its wake. It makes sense that the ghost of a child would attach themselves to a backpack, since that's an item they would be familiar with. And not too long ago, they visited a boys' detention center that was quite haunted. So maybe that's where the ghost child followed them home from. While they were exploring that haunted building, however, they encountered a much larger shadow figure that gave them a bad feeling. Hopefully this ghost didn't follow them home too. Two friends are hanging out when one challenges the other to make a real ghost video in the closet of his haunted house to see what paranormal activity takes place. His friend only half believes him, so imagine his surprise at the scary moments caught on camera next. Don't swear it's in it. Just go away. Wait, what, what was, was that? that? What was that? Oh my god, what's that? What is it? What is it? It's gone. His skepticism melts when a pale face regards them from the darkness. As they ask each other what it is, the figure moves away from them and they dare not follow. This creepy video could simply be someone shining a flashlight in their face to create the illusion of a ghost, except for one thing. There are two dark holes where the eyes should be. This looks like it could be a black-eyed ghost sighting as they are known to follow people home after exploring the forest. But the most likely scenario is that this is just a mannequin and nothing more. Whatever it is, it's not a person. And there's just enough room for speculation to make you wonder if the scary stuff in this video is real. Only they know if this was a real ghost video or not. Lizzie Arts is freaked out in her own home because a ghost is haunting her. Just woke up to smoke a lot. Weird things are caught on camera all of the time. Really creepy stuff like when the ghost kept setting off the smoke alarm all night. I'm home alone. I know which one it is. It's my one. The ghost seems to turn the smoke alarm on upon her mention. We have two more smoke alarms in the house. There it goes again. And instantly stops when she yells at it. You need to stop that! There are two other smoke alarms that the ghost is not bothering with, just this one by her room. I think she should try changing the batteries and see if it still happens. If that doesn't solve it, then that means this video is really paranormal with more creepy videos to follow, I'm sure. A YouTuber named Nugget Noggin is exploring an old abandoned home one evening somewhere in the deep south. He's been here only once before and it gave him such a strange and foreboding feeling that he couldn't take it anymore and he had to leave. Now he's mustered up enough courage to come back and check out the rest of the house. He wants to get up to the second floor. Alright, so I got this little door here to keep the air from rising up. I reckon, I don't know. Could be somebody up there. Oh man, somebody's standing on it. Cause I sure can't lift it up. Much to his dismay, he finds a door has been laid over the top of the stairway so that nobody can get through. He tries to push on the horizontal door. One moment, it feels as if a heavy force is standing on top of it, and the next moment, the weight is suddenly gone and Nugget Noggin can get upstairs. Some rooms give him the same weird feeling that made him flee before. He remembers that the front door was kicked in. Possibly someone broke in. Maybe a family was living here long ago and things did not end well for them. Won't be able to sleep. Look, there's a light on in there. 
It's odd. There's a mirror. You know what time it is? Nugget Noggin doesn't find much else in leaves. When he's reviewing the footage, however, he does notice what could be the face of a small girl. Take a look at this picture and tell me if it looks like anything paranormal to you. Unless you're touring abandoned asylums or reputably haunted sites, you probably wouldn't expect to capture anything mysterious on camera. But this individual did just that. This video has been making the rounds all over the internet and we tracked it down to its original source. Published to YouTube in January of 2019, JJPD Productiones writes, Mr. Luis Reyes was traveling to Nicaragua for the first time. He went on a tour of tourist areas of the country. Specifically to the Tiscapa viewpoint, he recorded the landscape, but did not expect to capture what you will see next. What you see looks like a giant crab, insect, or alien-like creature, maybe all three combined. The creature is standing on a rooftop, then it walks to the edge and jumps over to a courtyard, out of sight. While many congratulate the uploader on the special effects, some are willing to suspend their disbelief. But upon further investigation, it appears this channel specializes in special effects. So my explanation for this video is that while it's quite scary, it's most likely CGI. Annie Bennett and her boyfriend move into this old farmhouse two and a half years ago and have been experiencing a lot of strange happenings ever since, particularly in this blue dining room. The instruments tend to play by themselves over the years, but for some reason this piano has been getting all of the attention lately, so it's where they decide to set up the camera. Hardly anything at all happens in part one, which is 10 minutes long and slow enough to elicit some angry comments from people too impatient to get all the way through. But then there's some good moments that I want to point out, like how at 4 minutes and 17 seconds there's a strange light on the wall for absolutely no reason. It doesn't look like a laser pointer and it never happens again. Then the clock strikes 2.19 am and mysteriously pops open. I see no string and no other way for them to have done this, but maybe you do. I suppose now is a more appropriate time to share more about the history of this farmhouse. There used to be an old woman who lived here all by herself. They say at 2.19 in the morning was the exact moment when she is said to have passed on. She was said to have been musically gifted. At 2.19 is also where the Spencer piano seemingly plays by itself. So this high note is conveniently coming from a key that's not even on camera. Obviously Annie or her boyfriend have to be sitting off to the side. Or at least that's what I thought until I saw this next part. Okay, so that's not supposed to happen. I'm thinking that maybe the piano wires are worn out and old, which can sometimes cause a note to play by itself. But I don't think that's why, because nothing like this happened for a full 10 minutes prior. This tray and clock move at the same time. One of them could have pulled the tray by the corner that's off camera, sure, but the way the clocks open is something I can't explain. And as the night wears on, the spirit becomes stronger, able to play more. Please tell me this piano is one of the old fashioned types that can play by itself. Otherwise, I have absolutely no idea how this is possible. And even if it can play by itself, I've never seen a piano that can do what it does at 5 minutes and 49 seconds. Self-playing? Maybe. Self-shutting? No way. I guess Annie could have slammed the lid shut while off camera, but after this reflection fades away like someone is sitting down, I can safely say I've officially run out of rational explanations and can only assume this to be paranormal. And I don't care if someone is sitting off camera or not, there's no way for them to play a piano with the lid on. I can't even explain half of these paranormal occurrences, so I have to conclude that this farmhouse is almost definitely haunted by someone who refuses to accept that they've passed on. 
Strange and mysterious activity was caught on a home security camera when an orb of light spills into three different directions and promptly disappears, soon materializing into a stranger who crosses onto their property while in a transparent state. The home CCTV system has multiple cameras, and for two minutes they watch the stranger mysteriously disappear and come back numerous times. At 37 seconds, when it looks like it's gone, they zoom in to find a large orb with smaller orbs mysteriously floating away. Soon, the see-through outline of the stranger is caught on camera once again. According to the description of this creepy video, the human-like apparition appears to be walking down some train tracks, possibly haunting the very same place where his life was lost. After a while, the figure crosses their security camera, its lights go out, and... <laughs> the family has a fearful reaction as it disappears from sight once and for all. I think this could be a real ghost video, and not a glitch because it never freezes, compresses, or shows any obvious visual artifacts. Jeremy Pulverenti says he's caught a real ghost encounter on video. Security footage of the mysterious event only leaves him all the more stunned in response. Look, do you see there's it's nothing by the wheels or anything? You can see it on an angle. And that hose is way over there. You see it on the angle? Yep. What the f he and his friend suggest the container is leaning over like somebody is holding it. At 35 seconds, there's a ghostly footprint moments before the object falls over on its own, and they react as expected. Common sense would suggest that the container tipped over because it was overfilled except for one thing. They've been filling this container with water for years, and everyone knows exactly how much it holds. This is strange to say the least, and with almost 75 5,000 views, almost no dislikes, and all his friends backing him up. It's definitely worth looking at. I think it could be one of the wheels on the bottom coming loose, or a small hole opening up on the side we can't see. But with that said, a haunted garage is not completely out of the question. Stephanie Jenkins is filming her child at the bottom of some steps, when suddenly she goes from smiling to startled. <laughs> Whoa. The child definitely looks like she saw something, but she takes a few steps into the next room and then quickly forgets about it. Some people have noticed what appears to be an orb float overhead, while some people think that this is a speck of dust or something similar. Others think it could be a long-lost relative paying their respects to the next generation of kin. James Parr records his young nephew as he shrieks at something he sees on the wall. This continues for quite some time. It's hard to tell what the child is thinking, but it seems like a combination of nervousness and excitement. More than once, he appears to back away, as if he is fearful of something that is nearby. The child does seem to be completely fascinated by an otherwise blank wall, which is strange, but I am not so sure that this video is paranormal. The kid may just be playing games with his own shadow. What do you think is going on here? A YouTuber named Jonathan senses something outside of his home and begins recording. He doesn't make it very far before he finds the source of his unease staring directly back at him. Okay, guys. So... A small set of beady eyes in the darkness sends Jonathan running back into his home. 
I was positive it was just a cat until I noticed there are other eyes in the video too. Like when he turns around here. Maybe Jonathan does have an overactive imagination and was frightened by a neighborhood cat. Or maybe he really is being watched in his own yard by an unseen network of nightmarish creatures. Jared and Sable buy a USB stick from the deep web, completely unaware of what they are about to get themselves into. This strange man conducts an imaginary orchestra in his mind as classical music plays. I don't think I've ever seen this person before in any popular movies or shows, so I am going to assume that this clip is both original and homemade. Let me know if I am wrong. Next up is a wall of vanity license plates with first names, almost like someone has been collecting them as trophies for a long time. Very Grant, Greg, Heather, Heidi, Jalen. Eventually, Jared and Sable find another clip that I really hope is from some kind of video game or something like that. Again, tell me if you recognize this scene from any anywhere. If not, then I don't even want to know the actual source. Ooh, what? gruesome. Is that zombies? I keep getting the feeling that this videos were connected to a string of disappearances somehow. The elderly woman apparently is the one who holds the answers. I know who did it. <gasps> I know who did it. Worst of all, Jared and Sable have trouble getting the video to stop playing, almost like it's cursed. I'm not saying that these videos are 100% real, but even if it turns out that all of the clips are fake, I suppose somebody still could have edited them together as clues to help solve something they've done wrong. A large rat finds itself trapped in what looks to be the corner of a kitchen. It appears to be at the mercy of the man recording, who to be fair seems to want to cause it no harm to begin with. But as Marcus Goodiron zooms out, you can see to your horror that this is not in a kitchen at all, nor is it on the floor. I guess a large rat climbing your wall isn't exactly the happiest of endings, but it is most definitely unexpected, not to mention a good reason to give the walls a good scrub down. A person checks their CCTV to catch whoever busted their side view mirror. It's on the sidewalk side, and therefore absolutely couldn't have been a car. The video does not end at all as expected, when a phantom force snatches the mirror and gives it a twist. Then again, maybe a manufacturer's bolt or something came loose here at 2 seconds. Point is, I have never seen a car mirror do something like this all by itself before. Have you? While out kayaking on Yale Lake, this man soon realizes he isn't alone. Published by Crypto D Nut in June of 2017, the kayaker captures bubbles surfacing from the bottom of the lake, and not just a couple, like enough where the lake looks like a hot tub with the jets on. The kayaker films the strange bubble patch and remarks that there's no current. Just bubbles coming from the bottom of the lake. No current. Then he puts his camera underwater. You can see the bubbles floating up, but you can't see the source. Back out of the water, something enormous erupts in the lake. A huge bubble breaks, right where the YouTuber's friend was kayaking a moment before. What the f What the f What the f just happened? Leaves in mud have surfaced, and the guys say it stinks. What is this? Is there a lake monster in these waters? Commenter Stevenopolis likely has the explanation. He writes in the comments that this is concentrated gas that is sometimes produced in anaerobic environments and can suffocate you when released. Others add it was likely a methane pocket burst built up by plant matter decomposing at the bottom of the lake. Opolis warns if you ever see that, get as far away as possible. Well, not a lake monster. The reality is still very frightening. While exploring a spooky abandoned cellar, these ghost hunters face something more fearsome than ghosts. Published by Scary Labs in August of 2021, this scary video shows the crew investigating several dark bricked rooms. The cameraman scans one room that appears to be empty. Then he turns to his colleague, who is directing her camera toward another room, asking the spirits to come forward. When the spirits are refuse to answer. The cameraman turns back toward the previously empty room, only it's not empty anymore. Ah! 
black cloak, black hair, pale skin. What was this thing? I'm guessing Professor Snape, but the crew didn't stick around long enough to find out. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Bushwookie83, this redditor wrote, WTF is that? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Hey man. That was cool. What are you doing? What's going on? You okay? Can I get away? Tell me to say you don't. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Duck Consume Bread wrote, Man, I don't know how you could just sit there. I'd already be moved out, lol. Well, Neo One Lone Wolf 6985 wrote, It looks like the reflection of your flashlight on your phone, reflecting on certain parts of the glass, giving off the illusion of a face, actually. Looks like the exact same tattoo I have of Michael Myers on my arm. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. What happens when the next generation wants nothing to do with the family property in the middle of nowhere? Published by Jordan Sovis, Jordan and Chris explore a house that's been abandoned out in the country for a couple of years. They crawl under the garage door and jimmy their way in using a credit card. Inside, they find a lovely piano for the ghost pianist to play. And while searching the place, they spot someone outside. Dude, there's a dude outside. What? Hasn't this place been abandoned for like, ever? Is this the home's caretaker? Or something else entirely? Using a pendulum, they start asking the ghosts questions. They ask if they're in good spirits, and they're told no. Later, they ask the spirits if they can make their presence known, and the spirit answers, uh, Are you present with us here in this house? As they start to panic, the ghosts don't let up. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? Was that you? For some reason, even after all of that, the guys stay. They again ask if there are spirits here, and this time the spirits reply with a song. The piano keeps playing, even after they've raced out of the house. No way, dude. Dude. No way. Did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <sighs> Still, they return. The piano continues to play and then this happens. Not long after, the ghost goes full on poltergeist. Now we can see why this home was abandoned in the first place. What was it? Go. You go first, man. I don't want to be in this Dude, place. I don't want it straight up. Holy <laughs> Dude, what Why are you laughing right now? Seriously. What is going on? I'm delirious. A YouTuber named Savage Mister seems to be able to control the elements with his mind, and this creepy video has some viewers losing theirs in return. Savage Mister waves to the sky, and in that moment, a streak of sideways lightning appears to follow his command. Although it looks like he has superhuman powers, this was actually a total accident. Savage Mister is in the middle of a conversation with his brother, and he was talking with his hands when this once in a lifetime coincidence happened and really shocked them both. This giant snake is so long that it takes a full 20 seconds to record its full length. And when the camera person finally reaches the other end of the snake, they suddenly become prey. <coughs> the reptile is already facing them and looks to have been waiting for them for the whole time. The camera person only has a few scant moments to let out a startled yelp before the reptile lunges straight at their face. Check out its color and markings and leave a comment saying what kind of snake you think this is. 
I'm hoping we can figure out what part of the world this took place in, and if the snake was venomous, in which case I doubt this person survived. There's no more haunted a place than a 20th century lockup. Published to YouTube by Heather Hauntings in March of 2020, Heather and her man are staying in a cell where inmates have allegedly passed away. The result? Major paranormal activity as evidenced in these two videos. Last used in 1984, the jailhouse was once the scene of at least one life taking and another person locked up took their own life. Of course, with such a twisted history, many believe former inmates now haunt its grounds. Paranormal investigators have heard caustic sounds, footsteps, and voices. Even the historian believes the place is haunted. Bullard told the Jasper News, Let's just say I went to the front door and left quickly. I heard something, I saw something that moved like a shadow, and I didn't stick around. Here all night. It seems enough of a warning for these paranormal investigators to know they're about to experience something truly chilling. In one video they explore, talking to the spirits via the spirit box, meanwhile hearing strange noises throughout the building. At one point when they black out the room, loads of EVPs can be heard on the spirit box. In the second video, as they're staying overnight in the cell, they attempt to communicate with the spirits again. After asking if another inmate took the life of the spirit, they hear a distinctive yes twice on the EVP. At around 14 minutes 30 seconds into the video, they start to hear the lightest of footsteps. They attempt to catch some shut-eye in the cell in around 3 a.m., the witching hour. Something bangs loudly, awakening them. Around the same time they heard this noise, Greg says he felt something touch his leg. Needless to say, they couldn't go back to sleep in the cell. Could you? I certainly wouldn't. It's not too often that you watch a video that completely scares you silly. Published to YouTube by RZ Flame in March of 2017, the uploader of our first clip believes what you're hearing is a ghost, and what you'll soon see will prove it. The sounds are subtle at first. They don't even wake the lone man in the office, who's sleeping on a chair in the corner of the room. Neither does the phone, which rings a couple times shortly after the noises start. He appears to wake slightly, but not enough to get up and answer the phone, and soon he's dozing again. When the phone rings yet again, he finally rises to answer it, before returning to his computer and getting back to work. That's when a chair in the opposite corner of the room spins full circle on its own. This catches the worker's attention briefly, but he shrugs it off and returns to his assignment. A moment later, a water bottle falls from the edge of a desk. At this point, the office worker stands up to gauge what's going on. That's when the poltergeist really has some fun, throwing a chair onto its back in the middle of the office. This activity seems to be the last straw. The man screams and races from the room. That's some good judgment on his part. It's an everyday afternoon, playing in the pool, just having a bit of fun, when all of a sudden this happens. Posted to YouTube by the Junnet channel in October of 2018, this video shows what appears to be everyday footage of a nice family swim at the pool. You probably won't even notice what's incredibly creepy here at first glance. Look closely and it'll mess with your brain. At around 8 seconds into the clip, the father lifts his son up onto the pool's ledge. Watch the boy's left leg. Out of nowhere comes a third hand, helping to lift the boy up. The hand disappears, and there doesn't appear to be anyone nearby as the shot pans. 
Whose hand is this? And where does its owner disappear to? Did someone pass away in this pool and become its phantom? I guess we'll never know. Have you checked your home security cameras? You'll want to after seeing this video. Published to the Chills Narrator subreddit by SirPenguin09, the Redditor explains that everyone was at the hospital visiting his cousin on June 22nd. No one was home, but when they checked their security footage, this is what they found. The clip shows a blur of something walking past. While the visual isn't clear, it's definitely a human figure. Sir Penguin goes on to say all doors were locked, all windows were safeguarded, and that no other security cameras around the house caught any movement. So if this is a person, how did he get in? And if not, how will this Redditor get him out? Many in the comments are just as perplexed as Sir Penguin, but redditor 2 low 40 sums it up best, writing, Ghost or Home Invader? The thought of whatever this is walking through your home is absolutely terrifying. Maxim enters another terrifying witch's house in this paranormal investigation. As soon as he walks in, the demon lets him know he is there. But it's when he lights up these demon dolls with ritualistic symbols drawn on them that he faces the real terror. While these may not be voodoo dolls, it certainly seems that Maxim just lit up the devil. The awful sounds coming from the spirit box seems to be coming straight from the fiery depths below. You'd think Satan would be used to a bit of fire. Christian Garcia and a couple of his friends are riding around on a motorcycle late at night through the streets of Mexico and are enjoying their night when suddenly they come across something absolutely terrifying and startling on the road. Right here. This seems to just be a really sort of like isolated road in the middle of nowhere. It's clearly nighttime, and this individual is just sitting out here, staring off into the distance. I wish they would have asked if they needed help. Instead, just sort of take off. But I guess they do decide they should turn around, which is the right thing to do, so respect to these guys. Hola, señora. ¿Qué dice? ¿Eh? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué, qué le pasa? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se llama? Está en medio de la nada, no. ¿Le pasa algo? If anybody uh, who speaks Spanish could please translate what was said in this conversation, but I, I assume they were asking if they were all right, to which they get no response from the stranger, and I think eventually just decide, yes, to just take off. Even when Christian and his friends drive back to where the mysterious stranger is sitting down on the side of the road, it doesn't really seem as though they are trying to talk to her too much, and I guess it makes sense because she is a complete stranger, and you never know exactly what a stranger is capable of. I just hope this person is okay and isn't suffering from any problems, but if they are, I hope they will be okay in due time. It's a full moon and a YouTuber who goes by the name of Al Capone is in the most hectic cemetery I have ever seen. He can't even explain what he's been through without getting interrupted. Okay, things moving behind tombstones while I was driving. Then listen to this at 4 minutes and 52 seconds. No, behind me. Oh, you heard behind the, you. I heard No, you. I heard what was by you, but I'm saying by the cars like Al is talking when another man's voice speaks at the same time. What they hear a minute and a half later leaves their mouths hanging open. <laughs> 
I mean, this could be neighbors from some of the nearby houses. Except there's really no reason for anybody to be shouting near the cemetery in the middle of the night. Plus, the direction these voices are coming from is deeper in the cemetery, away from the houses and closer to the woods. And since this video was made in the middle of January 2020, I doubt anyone was out there camping. Abdullah Al Anbari is followed by what he describes as a ghoul when he explores an old neighborhood that was abandoned long ago. His stalker appears to be a silhouette, even under a high powered light that brightens everything around it. Bismillah. It could be someone wearing long flowing robes, or it could be a shadow person. Maybe it's just me, but the ghoul looks much bigger here at 5 minutes and 54 seconds when he sees it again. When it pokes around the corner at 8 minutes and 3 seconds, it seems much larger than the average sized person. Even from down this long hill, you can see this figure is indeed tall and strong looking too, as it lumbers ahead. It looks like the creature is going to follow him all the way home, if he lets it. So Abdullah recites a phrase, at which point the ghoul recoils from the sacred words, or perhaps more realistically, ducks under the window and is not seen again. Was this all planned, or did a phantom really spontaneously follow him? A YouTuber named Chris Javier is making a random vlog around his neighborhood late at night when he gets the weird feeling that he's not alone. Moments later, the streetlight he's standing by goes off and on by itself, which he says it has never done before. He thinks it might just be his imagination, so he decides to further test the situation by directly communicating with whatever is controlling the light, which seems to respond more than once. Here is the first time. What the heck is going on? And then the streetlight seems to taunt him even as he walks away. Was this a coincidence? Or is there no possible way? Now it's not even turning off. <gasps> as soon as I just said something about it, it turns off. A short while later, Chris sees a disheveled figure walk out from the back alley where he was just standing. They seem totally out of it and speak aggressively to an imaginary person in front of them. At this point, Chris decides to get out of there because it's early in the morning and no one else is around. But to his surprise, the stranger soon follows. The person then abruptly returns to the back alley from where they came and begins to shudder under the same streetlight that was acting weird earlier. They seem drawn to this area and they start swinging their arms wildly in a circle, totally forgetting about Chris as he films the scene for a while longer and then gets away between the lights seemingly responding to Chris's voice and a man randomly appearing from an empty back alley moments later. There just seems to be too many coincidences in this video to deny the paranormal could have been at work that night. A YouTuber named Frosty Flakes is searching for elk in the woods of Imnaha, Oregon. Oregon when his elk whistle attracts a pack of hungry wolves. Soon they find themselves surrounded and have to step carefully. They are way outnumbered and the wolves sound very close by, ferocious and closing in fast. The wolves are exactly on opposite sides of us. Every time they stop to gain a sense of direction, they can hear the wolves combing through the area where they just were. And I think this is where the pack decides not to pursue any further and lets them off with a warning howl. They sound close enough to charge the entire time, yet hidden so well in their surroundings that you would never know where to even look until it was already too late. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack posted to Reddit by Better Than Better. The home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack while the man is standing at the fridge drinking 
doing something. Watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down. But that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards. As the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day. So what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. Nellis writes, this is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside. As they descend into the pits of creepy, on one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness, asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps. Wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nellis says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here, or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nellis says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something, come on. Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. You might think you've got nerves of steel. This video was posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Pakonik. In the video, the likely US-based officer pulls over a driver at night, approaches the driver's side door with a flashlight to question him, but then never gets the chance. The dash cam footage shows what happens inside. A bright light bursts from the sky, causing the patrolman to stagger a little bit before he vanishes. Leaving a steaming clothes behind in a pile beside the vehicle, the car then speeds off either out of fear for what just happened or to flee the scene. Having been an active participant in the officer's vaporization, we're left to wonder which it is. The clip first appeared on the YouTube channel from Tim Beckers, who said, I downloaded the video and shared it with a couple of my friends in the community, and they all told me the same. This footage looks real and it could change everything we know. What do you think? Could this be real or a clever fake? Two grown men are roaming the woods when they come across a creature that's making some very guttural warning noises. Suddenly, something wrapped in baggy robes lunges straight at them.
As far as I can tell, only one of them makes it to the car, and then, I don't think it ends well. No other information on this video is available. <laughs> a doll that speaks is not mysterious, but a doll that speaks when it has no batteries certainly is. That's apparently exactly what this doll can do. If someone could please tell me what brand of doll this is, and also translate what is being said here, then maybe we can help solve this mystery. <laughs> they examine the doll for a hidden battery compartment, and ultimately find nothing. What we don't know can't hurt us, maybe. Published to TikTok by John Vasquez, he writes, Caught on my cousin's trail cam. Proof that there is something out there that we don't know about. A small buck is captured in the forefront of the shot. While behind him in the forest, a very strange looking creature passes by. It looks like a multi-tiered stack of pumpkins. The buck seems disturbed by the presence behind him as he quickly turns around and walks a few steps to peer beyond the bush. While many in the comments note that the buck obviously sensed it, a TikTok user notes the creature is something best left alone. That's probably the best advice. This video was recorded more than five years ago. It shows the pointer moving around the Ouija board on its own at first, but then it somehow levitates and begins flying away. There's a good chance that this is CGI. At least, that's the only explanation that I can think of besides actual spirits. I'm like screaming or something in this tunnel. I'm gonna go check it out. You may think you're ready for this list, but some scary videos you're just not meant to see. The boy in this video says he hears something in this tunnel that sounds to him like a scream, so he decides to go investigate. But no, the boy enters the darkness with nothing but a void at the end of it. For a while, all you hear is his own footsteps. Then you hear this. Sounds like Alien vs Predator up in here. The kid stops for a moment, and in that quiet, a couple footsteps splash through the water. He then says hello to the creature he cannot see, before heading forward again. But he doesn't get very far. The rattling sound echoes throughout the tunnel before the thing starts to screech in a way that makes your insides tremble. As he runs, the creature quiets for a time but lets out a final terrifying screech as the boy exits the tunnel, likely wondering what in the world he almost happened upon. <laughs> Is this for real? If so, what lies in the depths of this underground? Dark Dominator thinks it's the rake, while well, the last one suggests it's a feral hog, but I've never heard a rattle like that from a hog before. Lesson learned, the next time you hear screaming in the darkness, it's best to run in the opposite direction. Are you ready to spend the night in one of the most haunted places in the UK? Published in May of 2022, Exploring with Josh explores the Skurrid Inn a place reputed to see high levels of paranormal activity. As the team spends their overnighter in the place, all is still and quiet until... Can you see it moving? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Holy Oh my f What the Holy sh so Look at how fast oh my Bro, no bullshit. As they continue to explore the place, gathered in a pack, they hear this noise. See? Oh, and yours. You Dude, can't you fake that. that. That might be the most amazing evidence in a long time. Well, I'm actually kind of scared to sleep here. Then, as they're downstairs, they hear their music box detecting motion upstairs. When they ask the spirit to step forward, they hear it again. Who is brave enough to go and check it out? Upstairs, one of the crew listens in, relaying its messages to the rest. Norse. Norse. Viking. <laughs> Leave. Leave. Dude, he's straight up talking about you. On God. Dude, this is 
One of the messages is very clear, and the messages get more pointed. Fool, fool, it's always devil like this and that. Who's the fool? You all. Oh my god. Tells your name. Unholy. When the group suggests pulling their crew member out, the spirit becomes adamant. Dude, he said the craziest stuff to us already. Like, we can pull him out. Should we? Yeah. No, don't. Don't. Yeah, we should pull him out. That was probably the scariest one we've ever had for like SD's message. Now we're getting mixed messages. Does the spirit want them to go or stay? I'd sprint for it. While walking in the Fox Family Cemetery, this couple's dog started behaving strangely. Published by Matthias Eger in November of 2013, this footage captures the dog freaking out about something unseen. Only a few gravestones are scattered throughout the fallen leaves, and the cemetery is empty. Except for all those below the ground, of course. The dog appears on high alert and is looking in one direction in particular, at this gravestone. He even starts growling and backing away from it. What does he see? Well, many in the comments are telling the trio to leave. Bushy Brow Sensei agrees, writing, I was thinking maybe the dog could smell the remains, but that last reaction was definitely fear. I think it's time to go. You have probably heard that name, as La Llorona has become quite the legend, especially in Mexico and Latin America, where this video has been getting a ton of attention. This clip, which has been racking up millions of views, appears to be a forest cam video. You can see a figure slowly move across the forest with very slow movements. While many have claimed this is the infamous legend, the flickering effect of the video makes me question the authenticity of it. Nevertheless, even the slightest possibility of this video being real is enough to make it impossible to look away from. This list is probably making you feel you're as unsafe inside your home as you are outside of it. This entry is no exception. Posted by Borgberger, this video captures a man who is trying to film inside his neighbor's home. Apparently, the neighbor had been filming inside their home for weeks. The homeowner's girlfriend said that the man often approached her when she was collecting post, and she felt he was creepy. He once offered that if there was anything he could do for her, just let him know. The video shows the man in his own home entering a room across from theirs. According to the video, he picks up his camera which had been charging, positions himself on the floor out of sight, then starts recording from a corner of the window. You can actually see the red light from his video camera appear in the darkness. He peers over the windowsill to see that no one sees him. Then he resumes recording. He is again seen more clearly, standing up to look out the window. Then he ducks back down to resume his peeping position. The man filming or photographing goes on for a solid two minutes, and probably longer, because this clip seems to have been cut before the man finishes. The clip also shows the man being taken to the station by police. The homeowner said his girlfriend felt incredibly upset as her privacy had been violated. Who wouldn't? Considering her intuition about this man, this just goes to show that you should always trust your gut. A search of official reports of this invasion of privacy could not be found, so it's unclear whether or not this situation ended in charges being pressed against the culprit. Whatever the case, this one will make you pull your shutters closed and lock them tight. A paranormal explorer named Yash Sadiq brings us a ghost sighting all the way from Tamil Nadu, a large state in South India. This abandoned house has sat rotting for years until their investigation reveals the presence of something lurking within. Hey, hey. A dark and mysterious figure watches them from the other side of a wall and then retreats. It looks like a real ghost sighting at first, but look again and you'll see a small edit here at 2 minutes and 33 seconds. It could be a camera glitch from Paranormal Energy. However, I think the real reason for this edit is because they didn't like the way it looked the first time and decided to record the scene again. A group of friends are recording themselves lifting weights and basically just joking around in a small gym. 
The situation suddenly becomes very serious when one of them leaves the room and then comes rushing back to bang on the glass for help. You say I'm gonna pick you up. Four. No, wait. What? What? what is he? Where is he? A tentacle like appendage seems to wrap around their friend's waist and pulls him away. The group goes outside and searches for their friend Nathan, but he has vanished. Then another friend goes missing too. I could count as one. Well. The two survivors run back into the building to talk about what just happened. One of them is in complete denial and thinks that they are simply being pranked. They are talking about whether this is really happening or not when suddenly their worst fears are confirmed. <laughs> You're not laughing at this? This is crazy. This is hilarious. That's nasty. Man, that's nasty. Well, there is a strong possibility that this could be CGI. The uploader has not come out and said that this was a short film. Instead, they insist it's real. Most of the people in the comments section agree that this is authentic, but I'd definitely like to hear what you think. A YouTuber named Travis Andrew Barker and his brother were watching the movie Titanic one day when his brother noticed someone in the background who looked completely out of place. Travis wasn't sure if his brother was just messing with him, but as it turns out, he was telling the truth after all. If you can see right there, we pause the movie and there's Jack and there's Rose. If you look back there, you'll see the Slenderman. I honestly can't say that I've seen this movie that many times, so I'm not sure how legitimate this sighting is. If you are familiar with the movie and recognize the scene, then please let me know what is going on here and explain who this mysterious background character is. If nobody can come forward with details, then this very well may be the first Slenderman sighting in a Hollywood movie. A paranormal investigator known only as Survivor is on his way to go exploring an abandoned haunted cottage. On the outskirts of town, 1 o'clock in the morning is when he sees, in his words, a strange grandmother on an abandoned road. There is no reason for anybody to be walking miles from town so late at night, let alone a senior, so he pulls over to see if she needs any help. To his surprise, the woman who was just there moments ago has mysteriously disappeared. He has a really bad feeling so he pulls over at the side of the road. What he finds next has him wondering if this was a real ghost sighting caught on video. He finds nothing but an old tattered cloth where the woman was last sighted. It looks like it could just be a piece of roadside trash like a tarp or something. Take another look. Was this item really what her ghost was wearing? A photographer pulls his car over just outside of the Dara War Fort in the Pakistani desert. He keeps his dash cam running as he adjusts his camera equipment to get a better shot. While he is busy snapping pictures, a mysterious shadowy figure hurries down the road. No other cars or people are around for miles. There's no reason for someone to be walking this great distance by themselves. They get towards the end of the road and quietly disappear, which leaves only two possible explanations. Either this was a real highway ghost encounter or just video editing. This Ukrainian dash cam captures one of the highest resolution highway ghost encounters I have ever seen. Watch this part and tell me what is being said here if possible. I would really like to have a legitimate translation of this potentially supernatural message. The driver speeds off after she falls back and disappears, and does not stop until they are back to civilization. This professional quality of this video makes me wonder if this is from a European movie or television show. If not, it almost looks like a well-constructed hologram. 
I could find no other source for this video. So be sure to let me know if this is amateur footage or something from mainstream media. Will and Weston have been seeing a strange man walking around their house for a few days now and they are determined to get it on camera so that people will finally believe them. This time, when it comes around again, the two split up and start recording. Westing captures the giant dark outline of a man and goes off running to find Will. They both seem more excited than scared, which is strange, but I guess that could be a normal reaction considering they have seen this person for days and have not been harmed. This could definitely be someone messing with them, but there's something about the overall pace of the video that seems real. Here's another picture that Will caught to further verify the story. Whoever it is, hopefully they stay in the woods and comes no closer to their home. A group of British ghost hunters are walking around the Wilney graveyard in search of paranormal evidence. It's late at night when they apparently find exactly what they are looking for. Pay close attention to the area between the two tombstones or you might miss it. What the f was that? The man's flashlight passes over a tall silhouette that makes him pause. It looks like it could have simply been some shadows playing against the wall but they light up the entire area, and there's no wall to be found. Let me know if you saw the strange shadowy figure and what you think it could have been. A family in the Philippines is holding a ceremony for their child when something amazing happens. Their baby begins to move. The parents pluck their child and wrap it in blankets. Just yesterday, medical examiners had told them that their child had passed from a severe fever. Now clearly still alive, though the parents are relieved, terror soon set in as they realized how close they came to burying their baby alive. It's after midnight and a YouTuber named Angie the Green-Eyed Angel is exploring a ghost town that is completely abandoned. She isn't even finished the introduction to her video before weird stuff starts happening. It took me a couple of listens, but I can actually hear the wind whispering her name here. Abandoned ghost town. Hopefully you can see it behind me. I swear, I just heard my name. Apparently, the wind has other things to say as well. Strange noises continue to follow Angie as she sneaks through old buildings filled with spider webs and rotting architecture. After about 20 minutes of exploring, Angie stops and thinks she sees a grayish figure looking back at her. Oh, I don't know if the camera can even see it. <laughs> Footsteps from behind send her screaming into the night. Christina Carr is all alone in her old attic in New Jersey, but she feels like she is constantly being watched. She invites anything lurking in the shadows to make its presence known. Is anybody in here with me? It isn't long before she gets a response. Oh, goodness. She does not hear it at the time, but the disembodied voice of an older woman timidly asks hello. The voice sounds alarmed and confused, almost like it's asking for help. Christina continues to poke around the attic asking questions until she gets another potential sign in the form of distant sirens. Store a few things, that's all. I hear some kind of alarm. Let me know if you think this alarm was just a coincidence or if you think a paranormal presence was somehow trying to warn Christina to stay away from the attic. Theme parks are supposed to be fun and games, not the thing nightmares are made of. This Mr. Blobby theme park is a whole other story. Chugging along in the 90s, you may or may not recall this yellow and pink blob. 
crinkly bottom was Noel Edmonds' series of theme parks that popped up in England during the show's success, with one in Somerset, another in the north of England, and others scattered around the country, none of which lasted long. Why? Well, watch this video and you'll see. Not only were people unimpressed with the park's puppet shows and Blobby's kitschy catchphrases, Blobby's done blob in home is like walking through an uncanny nightmare. The seriously disturbing park, marketed as a children's attraction, is more like a scene from a horror film. With distorted audio, Blobby welcomes you, but who wants to be welcomed to this chilling park? The theme of this park must have been, we will haunt your dreams. Footage from this frightening theme park will leave you reeling, and not in a good way. Think you know the volatility of a poltergeist? Think again. Published by C's Crazy Crossroads, the YouTuber writes, A rock comes off of the piano towards me. Absolutely insane capture. It is at the 247 mark. Apparently, this YouTuber hadn't caught the absolutely creepy capture until his viewers pointed it out to him after watching his original video, which is certainly surprising as the paranormal behavior is quite obvious and alarming. As he walks through an abandoned church at night, a rock clearly comes flying at him from a nearby piano. You can see the rock actually fling towards him and ricochet off something behind him. Who or what threw this rock at Crazy Crossroads? I'd wager it was something or someone straight out of a nightmare. A forest and nighttime is a terrible combination. That's what these men find when they set out into the area jungle in the darkness. Facebook user Kaiza Sharam shared this video of a peaceful walk through the moonlit forest. Just kidding. This is anything but peaceful. A couple minutes into the footage, a man points out something lurking amongst the trees, similar to another entry in this list. It appears like a woman with long black hair dressed in white. They keep their distance, only pointing out the figure to the camera. Later, they follow her into an abandoned building. Her long hair disappears around a corner. When they turn the corner, she's vanished. They search through the dark building, but don't cross paths with her again. That is, until they enter the dark and expansive forest, they spot a strange figure. It's not the woman, but appears to be something wrapped in a white sheet. When the man approaches to peer inside, the thing moves. What is it? Could it be some sort of ceremonial figure? Left to these men by the dark-haired witch? Whatever it is, it bows to the man again as he probes it and then walks away. What do you think this might be? What's inside? I don't think I would unwrap this gift. Whimsical YouTuber Erwin Saunders is being stalked through his magical forest by a fangirl named Carol, and together they spot something special. What was that in the cave? They see her again in the light. So this species, because they're relatively calm. She doesn't seem to mind us being here, so. Oh, she's, oh, so she's gone cute. In. And then again up close. Can I talk to her or anything? Can I say anything? Shall I say anything? No, no, just stay still. No. I really missed Irwin's captures like this, even though they're kind of creepy, and I think Carol is a great addition to his magical team. Warning, if you summon La Llorona, prepare for the worst. While investigating the Hinsdale house, YouTuber Mo Sarji summoned the Weeping Woman, and he lived to regret it. While speaking through a spirit box, he received some answers. Was there actually an exorcism here? <coughs> oh my God, that was a yes! In it like an evil, like it was mad. But the interview is cut short. Was it a priest? <laughs> behind you, behind you! What, behind you? Something just f***ing appeared behind you! Something just f***ing appeared behind you! What? Like a f***ing mist, like a oh white mist! Holy f***! I don't blame him. I'd be done too if I'd just seen La Llorona in the flash. If you happen upon a site where a sacrificial ritual was performed, run far, far away.
YouTube channel, Si Investiga Casadores de Lendas, was exploring this abandoned place. When they came across just such a sight, they enter a room with lifeless animals and a pentagram on the wall. On the ground is a ponytail of hair and candles. There's a burnt animal skull on the wall. As coisas apareceram aqui. Foi da última vez também que ele apareceu de ponta cabeça aqui na parede. E as they're in this creepy room, they hear a noise. Soon their flashlights start to go haywire, and when the light turns back on, a demon has taken hold of one of them. Later, they return to the room and see this. While it's not clear to me what this demon clown is or what the creature in black wanted from them, one thing is clear, they shouldn't be here. YouTube team Rota X Investigaso Paranormal explores this haunting place where something horrible happens. As they walk in, they sense there's someone there. As he introduces himself, it sounds like someone runs off into the darkness. They get back to their investigation, addressing the spirits. A presença que está aqui é da alguém que partiu, que estava aqui na tragédia? In one dark and scary room, their device goes off. Maior. Por isso a equipe Rota X pede licença para estar entrando aqui. And a second time. Tá, obrigado pela sua resposta, tá bom? And then a third time. Tá, alguém faleceu aqui, né? E você poderia me dizer? While the readings are interesting, I'm more intrigued by the person they sensed in the building who seemed to escape. Would you have the courage to enter a home in which a horrific event took place? That's how the police described this poor lady's passing, published in January of 2022. The Ouija brothers head inside one of England's most haunted abandoned homes, in which a woman is said to have had her life taken, using a device to speak with the spirit. The guys ask what her name is. Her answer gives me chills. Could you tell us your name? Blood. Blood? Blood. Blood then. It's a bit of a funny name, isn't it? <laughs> Remember, I like that lady. Yes, Blood. <laughs> um, then, as a cameraman is backing out of a room, they capture a strange hissing noise. Oh, yeah. oh, oh f I'm I going in there, man, because that'll make me ill for days. <gasps> Later, they're in another room when out the door, they see a light, it starts getting brighter, and then they hear something clatter. Look, 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 look my can you see I'm getting by It is. Is this the ghost of the woman whose life was taken in this home? Or as Suze suggests in the comments, did the events of this poor lady's life imprint on the house? Someone is watching you. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022, this paranormal crew is not just paranoid. As they're tuning into the spirits and or demons of this place, one of the crew sees something pop up outside through the window. There's something outside. Here. Here. Later, as she's wearing headphones to listen in to what the spirits have to say, she feels someone, and then that someone speaks. Who are you? What are you? Whoa! Move her chair, it said in a deep man's voice. Well, so you move the chair. After the demon says to touch her and make her cry, the crew urges the demon to leave. Make her cry, he said. 
No, you cannot nope. make her cry. You're gonna have to leave. You can't yeah. do anything negative. The woman looks very shaken up, and she says she felt weird vibes. Are these the vibes of a demon? More than likely, sometimes when you're looking for the past on, you find the living. Published by H.D. Adam in February of 2022, this paranormal crew faces off with a very angry, alive dude. While exploring what they think is an abandoned building, they first see this strange image reflected in a window. It looks like an angry face, but are we just imagining that? <laughs> A minute later, the face remains. One of the crew goes to check an adjacent door. After finding it locked, he turns away. A moment later, something bangs loudly on the door. Continuing on, they open the door to another room and find this mysterious man sitting in the darkness. The man seems angry. He stands up and starts yelling at them. He tells the crew to get out of his house, and they are soon pushed out with force. Next time, they'd better be sure no one's home. You'll always remember your first encounter with a skinwalker, because it may just be your last. YouTuber Hype Mike published his encounter at Skinwalker Ranch. While they set up their cameras, you can already see something's not right. Look behind them. Later, as they're gathered around the barn, they hear a noise coming from above. Light, right? As they wander downstairs, they hear this. What? Shh. What is that? That's the animal. The horses are When they make it outside later, the flies warn them something evil is coming. Dude, it's. Oh, I'm not going closer. Yeah, it's disgusting. Something was oh, oh <laughs> stop like disemboweled or something here while checking their cameras later they find one was messed with there's nothing the wall it's like a corner i put it in the corner and the tripod's like as far back as it can go nothing can dude what is that <laughs> look what at the camera it? it's moving bro what there is going in the on? window there was literally something in the window was that a skinwalker they're about to find out Is that the door? The back door. Was that here? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just wait. Let me, let me just take a look, okay? Well, I'm not 100% sure that it was a skinwalker. It does look to me like something is stalking them, and it may not be human. A supposed mermaid was captured sunning itself on the rocks beside this murky lake. Posted to TikTok, you may want to avoid the water after seeing this clip. Did you notice that there are two of them? You can see the other one's head peek up. Will some in the comments say this is a real mermaid? And mermaids, in fact, look scary like this. I'm not so sure about this video's authenticity. I did some digging online, and it turns out the video's original source is YouTube channel, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. Whether you choose to believe this is real or fake, it is definitely an impressive reimagination. Home alone at night? This creeper might just be peering in the window at you. 
Originally posted to YouTube by group member Ariane Childress of VBE INC's channel. This image is sure to haunt you. A woman in her home films her dark window pane as it looks like a man is staring at her. Although the features are vague, the image reflected definitely looks like a face. The woman takes a few pics as well. The lurker disappears for a moment when her camera moves, but then he's back again leering. Reddit is mixed about this image, with some saying it's seriously creepy and others theorizing it can easily be explained. Redditor Crystal Siren wonders how the woman remains so calm, writing, If I saw that, I'd have to close the curtains immediately and been unable to sleep for days. However, New Vin suggests, it's pareidolia. Pareidolia is when someone incorrectly sees objects they recognize in random shapes or patterns. For instance, seeing a face in the clouds. As many note, this looks like it's probably a reflection, being that whenever she moves, the face gets distorted or disappears. Whether it's pareidolia, a reflection, or something more nefarious, we'll never know. Real life lurker or not, you can't really blame this woman for looking over her shoulder. Just when you think you've got your fear handled, it starts to eat you alive. This is an Instagram post gone wrong. This woman has a voice like a nightingale and is recording herself to showcase her talent. But your focus is shifted by the strange supernatural mirror that magically appears in the background with the camera facing selfie style toward the girl. At the beginning of the clip, you can see the space on the wall behind her is empty. She shifts, and suddenly there's a small mirror posted there. As she continues to sing, oblivious in the mirror, strange reflections emerge and disappear sporadically, being as it looks like she's in the classroom alone. These figures appearing out of nowhere are more than frightening. And when she finally realizes something's off, she springs from her seat screaming. She flees the classroom. Where did this mirror come from? Who or what was being reflected in it? And more importantly, what did they want? Sean Baker noticed this strange thing living in his backyard not too long ago. And now the situation has become too large for him to ignore any longer. Started out as a little white regular mushroom and now it's grown into something demonic whatever it is one thing is for sure the strange looking mass is able to withstand a lot of punishment dead it's like it's bleeding it oozes some sort of weird sludge in response to his attacks that i really hope is not toxic even with the help of a 2x4, Sean Baker is ultimately unable to bust the thing open or pry it loose from the earth. He curses the seemingly permanent growth in his backyard and ends the video in disgust. This almost certainly has to be some sort of rare fungus in my opinion, though I'm not sure what kind. But then again, maybe it really is from somewhere far away like Sean Baker seems to believe, perhaps even space. I'm hoping that together we can identify exactly what this thing is, and more importantly, how to get rid of it. A YouTuber named Ariane Childress is a ghost hunter, using some sort of paranormal software that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like split screen night vision, with some sort of enhancement feature on the right. Anyway, Ariane uses the program to capture what appears to be an oversized face, lingering in her window. And seriously, I'm like looking at this window. There's nothing out there. <laughs> it looks like there's a face. That's really creepy. She says that she's been feeling watched in real life when she turned the app on and pointed it towards the window. Meanwhile, the colors continue to switch from pitch black to a gray discolored face. Not normal. Be sure to let me know what this app is and how it works if you have any knowledge. A Reddit user named Ponzi Flaunts hears something outside of his home that leaves him too afraid to move. Listen to this part and tell me if you hear a creepy woman's voice carrying a twisted tune. <laughs> Th 
The haunting melody repeats over and over again, growing louder each time. There's no way that this is an animal. One person commented that this sounds like it could be an opera, and I can't say that they're wrong. Listen again. Like, what is that? Then you hear what sounds to me like a cry for help, and the singing never returns. If I lived in that house, I would be immediately locking all the doors and windows. Here, Ape Booth jumps from 129 feet in the air. If any part of his body had so much as graced the pier, then that would have been the end of Ape Booth, and that's assuming that he could have gotten out of the water in time. A strange and mysterious object is found in the woods by a YouTuber named Grant and has his whole group of friends startled by what's inside. Wrapped in tape and caught in the bushes is a creepy red color, faded from being out here so long. They pull at the tape and three minutes later, they are finally ready to reveal the revolting contents inside. Hold on, open it up for a minute, I gotta, I gotta record it. Look at it in there! What is that? Is that what is it? What is it? What is it? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> Gray floating chunks rise to the top of the gelatinous pile, an unknown mystery sludge that blows them back with a rotten stench on a windless day. They run away from it more than once. Things get weirder as a frightening conclusion creeps over them. Hey, this is like a somebody's body. Who left somebody's body? Huh? I don't know. I'm holding my breath every time I go over there. Okay, it's kind of sketch, bro. Ooh. Like it with duct tape. It's I'm calling that one. Don't call, the, don't call the emergency one. Someone is leaving this weird thing in the forest, one of the scariest finds of their life, and whoever it is has a lot of duct tape. There is a lake nearby, so I hope it's a fishing cooler full of improperly disposed bait and not what they fear it is. We never get an answer to this unexplained video, so tell me what you think this mystery substance was that made them call 911. The state line bridge connects Virginia to North Carolina, but locals call it Satan's Bridge due to the large amount of ritual activity going on under there. A YouTuber named Scary Weather made a documentary about it almost 20 years ago and recently came across the footage again. The first half of the video shows nothing but animal bodies littering the ground, which I can't show here. He then comes back the next day and videotapes all of the weird graffiti and other ritualistic scenes, like these five rocks for example. If you happen to know what this symbol means, or what enchantments were being cast here, then please share what you know, and also tell me what the white paint means here, because I honestly can't even begin to guess. Oh, so you see here uh, five stones uh, with a white mark in them. This part of the bridge looks like it could be some sort of altar. There's a huge dark red stain on the ground that trails off into tiny blotches. Something tells me that's probably not paint, but let me know what you think. There's one last fact about this location that I have to tell you. Now, I'm not a numerical conspiracy theorist by any means, but the identification number of this state bridge happens to be 6906. If you take out the zero and flip the middle six, you get three sixes in a row. A YouTuber named Dave World catches what in his words is a ghost standing in the middle of the road motionless. Or it could be a kid standing in the road to be weird, as somebody else points out. I thought this video looked familiar, and then I remembered this strange roadside encounter that Chills covered a while back. This is what a YouTuber named Joe Rob TV saw two years prior. I don't know if they are the same person or not, but both are standing with their arms behind their back in the exact same way and have a bizarre long neck and big ears, so there's a strong chance. One video has short sleeves and the other has long sleeves. A ghost doesn't change clothes, so I don't think it's a ghost. I'll keep looking for videos of this strange highway humanoid, who I'm gonna call the Long Neck Man, and keep you updated. This one is the thing nightmares are made of. Published in October of 2014, 
The footage begins with a vehicle driving down a dark road at night. After a bit of driving, he comes across a vehicle with its emergency brakes on in the middle of the road. The driver goes around this vehicle, but not much further. He has to slow down again, as there's a man with a baby stroller wandering down the road. He comes closer and closer. For some reason, the driver starts laughing. He puts the car into reverse. I'm not sure if laughing would be my first reaction, or any reaction for that matter. But he keeps backing up slowly, as the man with his baby stroller continues to pursue. Then he starts running at them. He's closing in, but the driver starts reversing faster. Finally, he loses the creep, as everyone in the comments section of this video is asking, why? Why is this man pushing a baby stroller? Why down the middle of the road? Why late at night? Some in the comments were also a bit concerned. Savannah Rose wrote, What if he had a kid in there? Well, John Garza posted a theory. They are trying to rob you. Seen this in Corpus Christi, Texas. Whether this baby stroller man was trying to rob anyone or not, one thing's for certain, he should get another tactic. A vision seen by many is sometimes diagnosed as mass hysteria, but when it's caught on video, you cannot deny its existence. This video was published in February of 2012. The clip shows a group of people staring at the sun over the trees. At first, the camera appears to be just capturing the blazing sunlight, but as it focuses in, you can clearly see the shape of a woman within that blinding light. The clip, which has gone viral, was filmed in the Ivory Coast. The day prior to this apparition, locals had seen something which appeared to be a blue halo in the sky, a case that many thought was extraterrestrial. But when the apparition appeared using infrared technology, locals instead believed they were witnessing a miracle. Government officials tried to minimize the sighting, saying it was nothing, but some locals believe the apparition may simply be Mary casting her mercy and benevolence over the impoverished region. Whether you call this vision a miracle or not, coupled with the halo that is said to have appeared during the preceding days, these startling forms in the clouds are unexplainable. YouTuber David DeFranco dramatically descends the stairs into his dingy cement brick basement, saying after four years of wondering what's in that room, it's time. With a cat as his bodyguard, David notes that it's 10.49 p.m. Not sure why you'd choose to explore a hidden room at night, but David's got grit. He notes that he's always wondered what's in this hidden room and that his cat has explored it several times and seen some serious stuff. So David is curious and nervous. It's probably nothing, but you can't help but wonder, he says, using his night vision camera. He moves the piece of plywood, blocking the hole in the wall out of the way, and he enters. He calls the place creepy before asking hello to no one in particular. It looks like another crawl space, but there are some intriguing bits and pieces inside. An old bottle, newspaper, dripping pipes, small plastic containers, comics from the Philadelphia Inquirer date back to April 1st, 2001. So someone has been down in the crawl space not too long ago. David recalls hearing noises coming from the crawl space. While David didn't discover anything epic beneath his home, he did at least explore it before moving out. Jinn are intelligent spirits from Arabian mythology that have the mysterious ability to possess humans. And according to this video, they take that mysterious ability to the next level, which is apparently ninja-based. Published to YouTube by Deranged Sajib in September of 2020, the scary possession has this man's limbs into something like a crab. <coughs> The man is captured on video doing a creepy crab walk backwards and forwards across the floor as a holy man stands over him, attempting to exercise him of the jinn. The man keeps low to the ground, smacking his palms to the floor with his fingers bent upwards. He speaks to the holy man in a haunting, possessed rasp. Kenapa? 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 
Oh, dua tahunan. Oh, se- sebelum di sini di mana kemarinnya? Although the clip cuts out before we can see whether the man was freed of his possession, many in the comments note that the spirit who possessed him seemed like a ninja jin. Well, I don't know about that. If it was the case, though, the man is acquiring these skills, even if only via a spirit taking over his body. Redditor Everyone is Human shared the following video to Reddit with a short read up that says My sister in law's ring camera captured this tonight. I have never been a believer, but I am struggling to dismiss this. Please weigh in on it. So let's have a look and see if we can help the uploader in figuring out what was filmed on the camera that night. So, I need you to focus your attention, so if we're looking at the center beam here, about dead center on the center beam, and then to the left, about halfway in between this center beam and this beam here. And you just see that thing just move. Alright, now it's and now it's between these two beams, just huffing it down the sidewalk. Still on camera here. But it looks like whatever this is, it, it almost looks like the ghost of somebody out for an evening jog as it starts on the left side of the sidewalk here and just continues down the sidewalk for the entire video. Whatever it is almost appears kind of translucent as well. You'd think if it was just a person, like an actual person out for a jog, it would be a lot more visible on camera. It would, it would just look like, a, you know, just a regular person on camera. This almost looks not only translucent, lucent but it's kind of floating in the air. I can definitely see why this uploader, who is usually a skeptic when it comes to this sort of thing, is having a hard time coming up with a logical explanation of what exactly happened on the security footage. It certainly looks to be some sort of ghostly figure out for an evening stroll, but one can only hope that's not the case. Some viewers suggest that it could actually just be the camera that's making an ordinary person look like a ghost. Is this actually a ghost walking around in clear view or is this just a camera trick on a regular person i'll let you decide while investigating an old schoolhouse this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening posted to the ghost subreddit key consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here we had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom this is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. On September 24th, 2016, Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. The CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the serviceman's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground, which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the land. 
landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKee continues. This demolition house of horror has these urban explorers walking on eggshells. Published a YouTube by Urban Ghosts Urban Exploration in May of 2021, Joe and Chris work their way through a pair of houses being torn down for demolition. Joe says they were contacted by the workers who were cleaning the houses out and were told they felt a presence here. And you'll definitely feel it too as you watch the video. Whatever is in these houses is making its presence known through whispers. As the explorers wander into the bathroom, you can hear incoherent whispering. A moment later, a man's voice says yeah, when asked if the spirits in the house will talk to them. Will you talk to us if there's spirits here? Later, more whispering is heard. May you give us some clues. And later again. Indiscernible what the voice or voices are saying. What is distinctly heard, however, is a growl that happens when Joe is positioning the camera down a staircase. What do you think is hanging around these demolition houses? And what will they do when their homes are destroyed? A TikToker named Anna Face Cap shows this extra eerie spider creeping around her garage that's almost as wide as the glass jar she uses to catch it. Only when she traps it and takes a closer look, does she notice dozens, if not hundreds, of baby spiders crawling all over this poor host, even around its mouth and eyes? I don't know if this brood is harmlessly hitching a free ride, or if they're devouring their mother alive for nourishment, and I really don't know if I want to find out, but I guess you can tell me what's going on if you really want to. Anyway, Anna Face has mercy on the spider, and lets it out into the wild to possibly live another day. It doesn't seem to have a problem running away, so I think this was a mother spider trying to find a good place to release her young, which somehow doesn't make it any less horrifying. For most ghost investigators, their only tool is their camera. These men, however, had other plans. Published to YouTube by Luan Mendez in December of 2019, this footage claims to capture the ghost of the girl in white. In the video, two men enter an abandoned house at night, calling out for the girl in white to reveal herself. The home and its surroundings seem empty at first, but as they wander around the house in search of the phantom, of course they find exactly what they were looking for. The first sighting of the girl in white is caught outside the home. They turn towards the doorway and, out in the field, the dark-haired figure dressed in a white t-shirt is standing at a distance. They scream in fear and rush towards the other side of the house. Lon manages to scrape his leg in the process. They return to the doorway where they saw the girl in white, but she's disappeared. Exploring the space more, they decide to enter a space under the home where the floorboards are missing. When one of the crew is down there, he captures the girl in white yet again, standing in the corner of the room above. <laughs> The other guy who's on the top floor hears his friend's cries and captures the door to the room closing at the same time. They both race outside to see if the girl in white exits the building, but she is nowhere to be found. However, when they return to investigate the room, the door starts to slam repeatedly. <laughs> This is the last straw for the investigators as they race outside and across the field, far away from the haunted place. Who can blame them? Approving Demons writes, On our paranormal investigation at a haunted hotel, we capture a real shadow person hat man on video. Are you wondering what a hat man is? Let Dana Matthews from the site Weak and Weird explain the phenomena. 
According to Matthews, shadow men came creeping out of the shadows in 2011 when paranormal radio personality Art Bell cast a light into the darkness on his radio show Coast to Coast AM, and the result was a burgeoning community of people coming forward, explaining their encounters with these phenomena. Out of the shadow people phenomena, another slightly different experience arose, encounters with the hat man. Much like shadow people, the hat man often appears at nighttime, wearing a wide-brimmed hat, hence the name. Those who encounter him have described him as a solid black mass, darker than a shadow without discernible facial features, and no describable lower body. Apart from a long flowing trench coat, the hat man is often seen floating and moves without sound, quite frequently in a basement setting. Another quality of this phenomena is that the hat man tends to appear in places of high negative energy and family dysfunction. This video shows either a hat man or shadow figure haunting this generally creepy house. The figure flies down a hallway, disappearing into a distant room as the ghost investigators search the house's interior. So what's going inside this house? Is it haunted? The hat man phenomena is often a recurring one for many people, from childhood to adulthood. Some believe shadow people are evil, like physical medium Amy Allen, who thinks they are interdimensional entities. Although the hat man and the shadow person might seem one and the same, they do indeed appear to be two separate entities. If you see a hat man, consider your family dynamics and the energy of your relationships. Does this video make you believe in hat men and shadow figures? If so, don't turn around. When you aren't sure if your imagination is playing tricks on you, post to Reddit to get another perspective. That's what this group of friends did after experiencing this strange happening. Posted by Dro to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The uploader says that while filming his friend playing guitar at his house, they heard something pound at the door. What's that? Wondering what it was, they decided to pursue it. After leaving their room, they spot something dark peeking around the corner at the end of the hallway. It darts out of sight as the boys chase after it, turning the corner and up some stairs to the open doors that leads outside. Once out there, they call after Toby, the pet dog that accompanied them, when from behind a garbage can, a ball rolls into view, thrust by a creature's arm. Toby. They race off back inside. The Redditor asks, Is this someone that broke into the house or is it paranormal? Let's see what Reddit thinks. The lovely Raven313 writes, Either way, this video sent a spine-tingling sensation down my spine, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere near that house. Redditor Cheery B says, This is a terrifying situation, writing, I can't really point out that anything looks specifically paranormal, although the glowing in the middle of what looks like their head, when now they were at the top of the stairs, was interesting. Others warn the dudes to get out of there now. Paranormal or not, they should probably heed that warning either way. A YouTuber named R. Travis is exploring a haunted restaurant that used to serve Chinese food. The inside is extremely old, and the walls have rotted down to bare support beams. He feels watched and grows increasingly anxious, and begins to talk loud and fast to himself in an effort to keep calm. Sometime during his nervous ranting, he makes a comment out loud about a spirit he sees standing at the top of the stairs. I don't give two flat oh, it's a set of stairs here, let's roll. They might not be stable. I've just seen a figure up there, but I'm not answering going chasing him. Nothing really stands on camera. Could this purple triangular shape be whatever it was he was talking about? At first, he says he's going to leave it alone, but up the steps he finds nothing but an old musty attic with a worn out floor, but there's more than that up here. I just seen another figure then. Three black spirits have seen them past me now. Aside from this white light that passes by at 3 minutes and 10 seconds, I do see some shadow figures. And a final shadow figure with white eyes can be seen here at 3 minutes and 22 seconds. They're all about the same height scattered around different parts of the room, and with all of them still watching, R. Travis abruptly ends the video. Kevin Ramos is holding a paranormal investigation session at the Fort Delaware, which was in use from the mid-1800s to the mid-1900s. 
and is said to be ripe with spiritual activity even after being decommissioned well over 50 years ago. After a day of walking, they stop and ask a few questions to the spirits upon nightfall. Look what happens when they try to get to know more about the ghost of a person stationed here. Did you like him? Can you cross the rod if you liked him? First, a white apparition passes by, followed by a black shadow that one of them actually catches out of the corner of their eye. This isn't their reflection in the window because none of them are walking, and in this exact moment, this person thinks they feel a tap on their shoulder and shine a light behind them to make sure. It definitely looks like something was near them to say the very least. Why she didn't say something as soon as it happened is something I don't know. I guess they were too scared at the time. This unexplained shadow was uploaded by a paranormal ghost hunter named K. Owen. I think it could just be a fast-moving insect, especially since this was recorded on a summer night in the south, but according to Kay, this is the spirit of a poltergeist in Kentucky who eventually went on to become quite destructive. If Kay's story is to be believed, then this unexplained shadow is the spirit of a person who took a woman's life in this camper years ago. The deranged paranormal entity would eventually go on to destroy the camper by burning it down just two weeks into the paranormal investigation. The Camino de la Mirte, or Road of Fate, lies in Bolivia along a 50-mile, rocky, narrow downhill road. The pass is so dangerous that the Inter-American Development Bank deemed it the most dangerous in the world in 1995. Somewhere between 200 to 300 people perish each year on this road. In this video, a bus driver attempts to traverse it to his own detriment. The road, which had recently suffered heavy rain, was prone to landslides, making the crossing even riskier business than usual. After ordering his passengers off the bus for safety's sake, they watch in terror as the driver attempts to creep across a very shaky and crumbling stretch of sand and rock, one that should not be crossed. The passengers attempt to help guide him, with one man in the video moving forward to motion that the driver move further away from the edge. It appears as if the bus will be successful in completing this crossing. But suddenly, the ground crumbles beneath it, and the bus tips, falling over the cliff, through the trees, and down the mountain. While it's fortunate that the 50 passengers survived their devastating journey, sadly, their driver did not. Two scientists poke and prod at the body of a short, round-bellied humanoid with sharp features and a wide frown. They seem to follow a number of scientific procedures and pull out internal organs one at a time, weighing them on what I think is an old scale. The full video of this procedure is not for the squeamish. Everything looks very clinical, so I think this video has a good chance of being real. On the Chills Narrator subreddit, a user named Dope Island Skate continues to post all the weird things caught on camera while living in his haunted home. This time he's looking at his living room on CCTV video when creepy stuff starts happening once again on his home security system. A noise in the hallway makes him turn around. A weirdly shaped small figure is caught on camera, but he must not see it in real life because he doesn't say anything. There is no doubt that the light is moving by itself at one minute before he hits the light switch. He does a full 360 around it, not believing his eyes and you can clearly see nothing is attached. Almost everyone who watched this video on the Chill subreddit thought it was creepy and real, and I don't really have a counter explanation as to how it could be faked. Nothing about this mysterious video is easy to explain, and that's why I think it might actually be real. 
Hopefully, Dope Island Skate continues to keep us updated, unless he decides to move out of his haunted house first, which I would completely understand. You might want to avoid this forest, because it's apparently home to Brain Hungry Zombies, published by Addy Ant in October of 2021. A man appears completely lost in the thick foliage of a forest at night. As he's walking, a terrifying noise is heard. <sighs> He continues, periodically calling out to whatever awaits him in the dense trees. Hello? Nang? Oi! Enjoy! That's when he sees this. Something lying in the dirt crawls out, obviously to feast upon his brains. The man turns around and races out of the forest in fear. At one point, he is knocked to the ground. He looks around, whimpering in the darkness, but doesn't see anything around him. Did the zombie give up, or is he on the verge of an ambush? An encounter with a lady in white might seem harmless, but this one is 100% impure. This scary video was originally published by Exploring with Danny. As Danny is exploring a wooded area, he remarks that he saw something that has completely vanished. And the last time I was here, there was a demon here, I was faced with a demon. And this is the location right here, now I am gonna show you. He shouts into the darkness, and that's when you see that something has not completely vanished at all. A black haired figure with a pale face lurks just out of sight. When Danny zooms in, you can see that the female figure is making its way toward him, out of the mouth of a tunnel. Hello? There's a slider. Hello? Are you okay? Hello? The figure climbs out of the darkness, her dirty white dress getting dirtier, while Danny commands her to stay back. She doesn't listen. In the name of Jesus, I command you to stay back right now. Stay right back. Danny turns around to make a run for it, but the figure continues to stalk him, climbing up a hill and creeping toward him. Stay back! I'm warning you! Jesus, I command you to stay away! What is this evil, and what does she want with Danny? He'd better escape before she pulls him back down into her lair. What the <laughs> Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Oh, I move this. Move this way. Feel scary, cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Hold up. Oh, I can't read. Can't reach. I, got, I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. To me. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. 
Oh, 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 oh shit! Says that. One minute and twenty-seven seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming, and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I, got, I think I gotta step on that chair, there's a chair right here. To me. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance, unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home? I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement, I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis, but what do you make of this strange sighting? Kloss finds something in his basement that's so scary. He has set up multiple cameras in his basement to try and capture it on camera. All he finds is this extra creepy layer of skin dried up against the wall. Listening to the sound the skin makes when touched is enough to make me want to peel out of my own. What in the world? He says it's juvenile, and I'd say that's a safe bet since it can't be finished growing if it is still shedding its skin from time to time. Ladies and gentlemen, that right there is a big snake. And it's somewhere in my basement. You can see where the snake used the grooves between two stones to rub off its old skin and emerge even bigger than before. A Google search reveals snakes will come into the basement through basement cracks and even through drains if you have any plumbing hooked up down there. Once they're in, the only way to get them to leave is to remove them by hand or call for help. The description says it's over 3 feet long. Assuming he measured accurately, I'd say it's time to leave this one up to the pros. The Vancouver Paranormal Society investigates a house whose owner has been complaining of strange activity during late hours. They gather in the living room and decide to address the spirit outright. You can hear two taps after they try and get its attention. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. They next explain the rules of communication and get no response. Give me uh, a knock for yes or two knocks for no. That means it actually tapped twice to signify no when they said they were going to ask it a series of questions. Not only did it respond, but it somehow knew what it was going to be asked before they even said the question. As if that wasn't weird enough, as soon as they ask the spirit if it used to live here, they get a visual disturbance in front of the pillow that's in the woman's lap. Did you used to live here? Somehow, the team misses all of these signs and declares the house to be uninhabited by spirits. After watching these instances, however, I beg to differ. Even though this snake wasn't on a plane, Samuel L. Jackson would probably not appreciate its presence on this train platform. Tweeted by Triple G RTO, he writes, Being a train operator for NYCT Subway, I thought I have seen it all, but this can't be real. Oh, it's real, all right. This feet long snake, which has been identified as a non venomous black eastern rat snake, was spotted on a subway platform in New York City on August 10th, 2020. The species can grow up to 7 feet and is native to the East Coast region, from Connecticut down to South Carolina and west to Kansas. It feeds on rodents, which may be why it's lurking in a New York subway station. As the enormous snake weaves slowly across the platform, a commuter stands not far off, waiting for her train's arrival. The MTA addressed the situation in a tweet writing, this is a new one for us. They were investigating the matter and aren't aware how it got there, although the reptile doesn't appear to have an owner, so may have just been out for a midday stroll or slither. 
Still, I'm sure many New Yorkers wouldn't want to share the L train with this scaly passenger. A man riding his motorcycle in India at night captures a bizarre sight on his helmet cam that makes him scream in terror. A strange all-white figure crosses his lane without any regard for their safety. He manages to go around the apparition, still screaming all the while, but I can't help but wonder if he would have passed right through the phantom had he kept going straight. Don't get me wrong, this could in all likelihood simply be a regular person covering themselves with a shroud to make a scary video, but what's weird is how, when he passes by, you can see a spooky white light piercing from under the fabric that doesn't look like it belongs. He turns around immediately and lets out another scream because it's nowhere to be found. So is this a fake video? Or is this apparition actually recreating its final moments on Earth by walking on the road at night and then disappearing? It's a rainy day in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and a YouTuber named Bulldog is with his girlfriend in the backyard. They are taking random videos and talking about nothing in particular when they encounter something that makes them think they are not so alone after all. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. Liar. Some sort of smoke or mist appears to briefly transform into the shape of a person, taking a few brisk steps and then fully dissipates. Bulldog says it looked like someone who is running, and I agree that it does resemble the upper torso and shoulders of someone in motion. With that said, it looks to me like the figure may also be lacking a head. While exploring this haunted asylum, the shifting energy is unsettling. Listen closely and you might catch all the oddities and EVPs in this haunted place. As the crew first enters the dark hallway, a strange sound is recorded. And another as they enter a larger room. They get a spooky feeling by this door, and they capture an energy here. The EMF meter keeps going off in the same area. What is in this room? Whatever it is, I think it doesn't want to fully reveal itself. Here's another ninja cat caught on tape trying to capture a ghost. Daryl Zan published this video in 2012 with the description, just a little video of my buddy taping his possessed cat, also has a ghost orb flash by. The cat starts up in the corner of the door frame, next to the ceiling. She is looking all over, looking towards the ceiling, and balanced between two door frames. Just as one of the cat owners says, what's she going to do? A blue streak, the orb in question, flies across the camera lens from the upper right of the screen to the lower left the man who's filming notices it and says it was weird and that was weird but his partner didn't see it did the couple's cat sense the ghost in the room is that why he'd ninja his way to the top of the door frames? It's more than possible. However, some skeptics in the comments section say that the cat is acting perfectly normal and that the orb looks like a paper airplane. What do you think? Children see creepy paranormal stuff all of the time, so it should come as no surprise when a parent sees a ghost around a child. A redditor named Roberto3 posted this creepy video of what he suspects could be a supernatural entity caught on his baby monitor late at night. On September 9th of 2020, his motion-activated baby monitor started tracking a tiny mysterious light that he is unable to explain. The unexplained light is caught on video for over a full minute before disappearing, never to be seen again. Some people say that this is dust while others are 100% sure this is a bug. Someone on Reddit says that here at 13 seconds you can even see the bug land on the camera and run across but I can't.
One thing we can agree on, nobody has been able to pinpoint exactly what this light is, so paranormal activity is not out of the question. Roberto 3 has never seen anything like this before and has never seen the light return since. If it was something normal, you would think that it would happen at least one other time, but that's not all. He has on occasion captured other scary moments on camera, a weird mist as he calls it, one that seems to take the shape of a hand and reaches out for the ankle of his child. It looks like it's reaching over the crib to grab at the child, which is beyond creepy. Then the camera suddenly jerks to the right and tracks movement from something neither you nor I can see. I'm not saying that this is definitely a real ghost sighting. I'm just saying that it's really weird to keep seeing scary things over your child's crib at night that nobody on the internet can properly explain. And if his first instinct was that this could be something paranormal, then it probably is. This couple is dedicated to, as their description states, the search of paranormal activity in places with terrifying histories, as is sometimes possible when investigating. Ghosts have followed investigators to their homes, and they believe someone they made contact with on a previous investigation did just that. On January 21st, 2021, they hosted a live stream to document what they believed was a haunting in their home. Hoping to document evidence and find answers, they invited the public to join on their session. The first half of the investigation seems to produce little results, but something rather disturbing appears as they venture down the stairs. Through a glazed window overlooks the stairs, the figure of a woman can be seen staring towards the camera. At first glance, it can be easily mistaken for a painting, but when inspecting it closer, you can see there is actual 3D depth to it, something a painting would be impossible to have. The figure looks either like a woman with long dark hair or someone wearing a robe. To further prove it is not a painting, the same window is shown a few minutes later and the figure is gone. Furthermore, they venture outside to show the other side and it is several feet above the ground, making it impossible for anyone to get up there without a ladder. Nothing around the window resembles the figure as it has simply vanished. As they descend further down the stairs, an orb can be seen flying fast across the top left corner of the screen. Once they reach the bottom step, a loud, low exhale can be heard. La esfera. The sound is too low pitched to be either of the couple, as we could hear them breathe beforehand and it doesn't match. It is also possible it was the sound of something sliding, although we cannot see what or if anything moves. Unfortunately, the remainder of the video becomes uneventful and other apparent orbs can be easily explained. For example, while they are filming a mirror, a glowing orb-like spectacle can be seen flying around. However, when the camera's light is turned off, it disappears, meaning it was simply a glare from the light itself. It's terrifying to imagine something becoming attached to you and following you back to your home. It's one of the risks when going on investigations, meaning it is not for the faint of heart. It also shows how there are more than just the physical dangers on these adventures, with even professional investigators such as Ghost Adventures suffering from severe states of paranormal oppression and even possession. It goes as a warning for those who decide to take up the cause for themselves. Take heed and be aware of what you are getting into, even if you are a skeptic or non-believer. Respect the locations you are visiting. On March 17, 2021, members of Muso del Horror traveled to a derelict building in an unknown city in Mexico, live streaming the entire adventure. Just after beginning their investigation, the group ventures to the side of the building. As they come to some stairs on the side, a faint growl can be heard on the audio. <laughs> None of the participants noticed it during filming, but viewers were quick to point it out in the comments. It sounds either like a growl or an attempt to whisper something, but it is difficult to determine what. From here, they enter the building, which is hollowed out and falling apart. Nothing of note happens until just after the 40 minute mark of the stream. A high pitched noise can be heard, almost like a screech or another hiss, albeit longer than the previous one heard. 
It's also possible that this was the sound of something rubbing against another object, similar to metal rubbing against metal. The last speculation is it could be someone breathing in, possibly one of the explorers, although nobody else seems to be around except Alfondo holding the camera, and he starts speaking before the sound goes away. Si está bien la distancia, todo está bien. The team decides to conduct a Ouija board session, which is not recommended for amateur explorers, by the way, to see if they can get any activity. Not long after starting, a very faint voice can be heard on the audio. Hay alguien aquí? It sounds as if there are words in there, but it is almost impossible to make out. The voice can be heard speaking, over questions being asked, could someone be trying to communicate? Soon they get an answer of yes on the board after being asked a question, and the board remains active for some time. When asked if it is a man, it responds no. Throughout the session, dogs can be heard barking wildly in the background. The dogs were rather quiet prior to starting the Ouija board, and now they are nearly frantic. Animals are known to be sensitive of the paranormal. Could they be distressed at what the team is doing? Or is there another explanation? In the midst of the session, by far the most bizarre event happens. Alfondo's attention is called away to a strange light manifesting on the opposite side of the building from where they are. In the opposite corner, it appears as if a flame has been lit, flickering. Suspicious others might be in the building. They call out and make their way to the area. One of the team members shows a few photos she took, and along with the glow of a fire, the windows make it appear to be daylight outside. However, the video camera always showed the windows to be dark. Furthermore, the photo camera was not using a flash, meaning it could not be a reflection. What could this mean? They decide to do a spirit a box session and instantly, the sounds the box makes sound straight out of a horror movie itself. While it is most likely caused by the rapid switching through radio frequencies, we have never heard another session sound as terrifying as this. Alfondo walks with the device to the other end of the building, and throughout hears some disturbing sounds. First, what sounds like someone wailing in distress. The most disturbing capture of the night is what sounds like a child crying out in fear or pain. It's hard to imagine what could have happened at the location, as it appears some manner of horrors still reside there, endlessly crying out in the afterlife. The world's oceans hold both wonders and terrors. People got a glimpse of an example of such mysteries on November 11th, 2007, 7,800 feet down the Gulf of Mexico. The Perdido oil drilling site sent a camera down for a routine inspection when it caught something unexpected. A bizarre creature swam only a few feet away from the rig, sporting unfathomable features. By far the most eye-catching of them were its long tentacles reaching far down below its body. It almost appears to be looking right at the camera, staring and observing just as being observed. Many commenters have likened it to an alien, with some even joking, it is an offspring of Cthulhu. The truth is, thankfully, more simple and far less scary. What was actually filmed is known as a big fin squid, a relatively newly discovered species. It was first documented in September 1988 off the coast of Brazil. Due to the depth at which it lives, sightings are rare, and there is still much about it left to be discovered. In fact, it is still unknown how these animals feed, but it is believed they use their long tentacles to drag against the seafloor to catch organisms to feed off. It is also believed they wait for small plankton to bump into them to eat. Such creatures make stories of sea monsters from folklore make much more sense. 
For centuries, the idea of the giant squid was a myth until it was proven as a real species, with larger, colossal squid also discovered. With an estimated 80% of the ocean left unexplored, there is bound to be thousands or millions more discoveries of all sorts of odd yet magnificent species out there. Another dog with something to prove. Posted to YouTube by It's Just Mars in March of 2012, the uploader writes that her dog does this most nights. The clip shows the dog on high alert for five minutes, growling, barking, and whining. At the end of the video, the uploader says that the closet door just opened on its own. The dog appears very upset by this and is pacing around the bed. I really think that the dog was right about everything. There's something unseen in this house. Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.